a few words. going on ladies and gentlemen how the hell are you guys welcome again to another fantastic show we we'll kicking it off in just a few more minutes as this video unwinds but in the meantime grab your drinks and your controllers getting ready to go because tournament number eight starts in just a few more minutes ladies and gentlemen if you want to get into the tournament tonight you're more than welcome to all you have to do is download the drl sim if you haven't already downloaded well then make sure you've completed the tryouts tab Click on that from the main menu and complete those three heats. As long as you set a time on there, then you're automatically registered for the tournaments. No need to do anything else. You'll automatically be set. Then you can click on the tournament once the time strikes. And that's in approximately three and a half to four minutes. The qualifying will be open. You'll have 30 minutes to set your top time before the quarterfinal start. Top 24 pilots on the leaderboards move into the quarterfinals. Top three from each group move on to the semifinals. And the top three from those two groups in the semifinals move on to the finals, making our top six where only one person will win that hot seat in the final event on April 2nd, where 12 people will battle it out to become the final DRL pilot in the 2020 season. So get at it, ladies and gentlemen. You got a few more minutes to get ready to go. We'll see you in a few. Oh, hey, Techno Joe, how are you? Dan Drones, how are you? Bradley Laughlin, how are you? Or is it Bradley Laughlin, I should say? No, it's Laughlin, isn't it? I don't know. Either way, what's going on, man? How are you, Wicked? Loza Moto, how are you? Buenas noches, saludos desde Valdupar, Colombia. I'm pretty sure I butchered all of that, but I tried just for you, my friend. Hopefully you understood everything else I said after that. Hey, Brian Tucker, how are you? It's Lee TV! What's up, brother? How are you? Zut. Hey, how are you, monkey boy? What's up? Thanks for the host, by the way. Yo, what's up, Reject? How are you? Get there, Techno Joe. Get there. Hey, don't forget, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can do that that whole tweeting thing that we got going on where you can win some cash if you want to win 100 bucks tonight. All you have to do is tweet at Drone Race League. At Drone Race League, use the hashtag DRLSimLive. It's right there in the very corner of the screen. And you'll be entered into the drawing to win 100 bucks. Three of you lucky winners will get 100 bucks. So make sure you guys send out your tweets. Start tweeting now if you have questions for our guest of honor tonight make sure you're tweeting those as well we love seeing them thanks so much guys seen a few uh grim reaper hey thanks for the live stream is there a way to practice the track solo couldn't figure it out on zero yes there is my man go to the main menu then click on solo race then click on originals and there you'll find the Drone Parks map. And in the Drone Parks map, you'll find all of the tryouts tracks in there. You can practice them all. You can fly them all. You can set your times for the leaderboards, the rookie leaderboard, the regional leaderboard, the weekly leaderboard. All of those can be done right there. Thank you. 
seconds and counting. Minus 37 seconds and our count continues to go well. Minus 30. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to the 2020 DRL Sim Tryouts. I'm your host, Tony Niddle, and today marks tournament number eight here on week number four of the tryouts where we crown our fifth winner. No, wait, not our fifth. What am I talking about? That's our eighth winner to, the, to add to the 12 pilots going to the finals on April 2nd. Now, there's still time to register and fly in the tournaments if you would like to. All you have to do is go to the tryouts tab from the main menu, click on that, run through your three heats that are needed, needed and then once you've done that you're automatically entered into the tournaments all you have to do is be here on time ready to go for those tournaments click on that tournaments tab and then you can enter now you'll have 30 minutes to set your qualifying time guys that time has already started we're about two minutes out of that already so make sure you're in there already getting those times set on the leaderboard the top 24 guys after the 30 minutes is up will be moved into the top 24 bracket now they'll be put into the quarterfinals where we have four groups of six battling it out. The top three from each group move on to the semifinals, making 12 people, two groups of six. The top three from those two groups move on to the finals. And of course, the final six battle it out when only one winner is left. And moving on to that hot seat and joining us in the final event on April 2nd. Will it be you? We'll find out. So stick around, guys. Don't forget. If you want to win some money right this night, okay, after tonight's stream, you can win 100 bucks. All you have to do is tweet at us using that hashtag DRLSimLive. Tweet at Drone Race League on Twitter. Hashtag DRLSimLive. That'll enter you into the drawing to win 100 bucks. Guys, you can win some money here. I'm just saying. You want to win some cash? Make sure you're sending out those tweets. Tell us who you think is going to win today. Uh, give us your questions for our guest of honor, and we'll get into that in just a minute, of course. Um, don't forget, guys, we have plenty of ways for you guys to win. I already talked about the tune-in awards. Uh, we have the participation awards where you have to fly in at least six of our weekly tournaments and you're automatically entered into the drawing to be one of the three lucky winners randomly se selected to win 250 bucks. Also, we have the rookie leaderboards. If you purchase the DRL Sim from January 1st until now, you're automatically entered into the rookie leaderboard uh, anytime you set a leaderboard time on those tournament tracks, you got to you got to fly every single one of those tournament tracks and set a time on all of those. And if you can get yourself into the top 25 by March 26th, you might win some money, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, regional leaderboards, of course, we have those going on as well. And the weekly leaderboards. So lots of different ways for you guys to win. Make sure you guys are checking out the DRL website and you can get all of that information right there. For you guys and of course you can always ask us here at DRL we're happy to help you out we're happy to answer your questions so shoot them on our way use the tweets that's the best way to get questions over to us so make sure you guys are tweeting and getting those uh getting those entries in on uh into the uh, tune in awards and you might win some money ladies and gentlemen all right um we're on week number four I also want to introduce the man the myth the legend Mr. Travis Day oh you know what Travis what oh there it is what? Travis where are you my man hey it's Travis Taylor, ladies and gentlemen, also known as FP hey. Vegan. How I are like you? how I get introduced first. Is this just in case our guest has like an amazing story like Vanover did last, last well, week about uh, his plane going up, almost going down? No, I mean, to be fair, you should be introduced first. I mean, you're the man running, yeah. the, running shit from behind the scenes, right? I mean, that's you get, you're I keeping it all. It. You, Joel, uh, Matt, the rest of our devs, all you guys are out there just just banging away on the back end to make sure it all is working fine and smooth so and we couldn't appreciate you more so i just wanted to say hi thanks yeah i do yeah and and if, if you guys are unhappy with any of these tracks by the way that's the guy that's he's the one he's the one you oh oh, oh we got one for you uh we're releasing tonight uh yeah. so uh make sure uh, you're as angry as can be when we release it because yeah. uh you <laughs> would like to see those responses yeah and if you could do me a favor, Chad, just reset your Discord if you're making that popping sound that you do every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, Travis Daly, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, we'll get into uh, the track. Let me show you guys a little preview 
of tonight's track. For those that weren't with us on Tuesday, this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's our week four track. We flew that one on Tuesday. We're flying again, again today. And tonight, like Travis already said, we'll be releasing the new track for next week tonight after tonight's show. So make sure you guys are sticking around. Until then, you'll see the, the debut of that new track a little bit later on. And we'll also release that track for you guys to start grinding away for practice for next week. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Let me. Oh. I got you. We got a special guest for you guys tonight. So I'm going to give you a little teaser video and see if you can figure out who tonight's special guest is. You guys should be able to. I think I think you guys could do it. I, I think so. Yeah. Yes! Come on! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Gabriel Kocher, Gab707. How the hell are you, my man? Hey, Tony. How you doing? Oh, you so have to... see I'm, you again. I'm good. What's that? <laughs> so great to see you again. You know, thank you, man. It's good to see you too, brother. It's been a long time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what? Um, six months? You know, yeah. It's been, I guess, you know, it's off season, so... Right? Build, the, build that new season back up. Yeah, no kidding. Um, you have to be probably one of the most calmest people I've ever seen in 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 drone racing history, and I would, and I might even argue to go farther than that and just say in sports in general, <laughs> because <laughs> dealing with drone racing, um, you're dealing with the nerves, but you can't. You're dealing with adrenaline, but you can't release any of that. You can't. You can't move around. You can't run, right? I mean, you're playing a sport. You get amped up. You get that adrenaline dump. You get to run around, right? You get to jump. You get to scream. You get to yell. But when you're racing drones, you're required to sit there as calmly and as perfectly still as you possibly can. <laughs> and the only thing that's moving is your thumbs, or if you're a pincher, then your then your forefinger and thumbs, and that's it. And it, you, yeah. you can't release that that crazy excitement energy that you have. And a lot of these guys do, but for some reason, Gab, you're able to just kind of maintain composure, keep that zen, and just stay calm, cool, and collected. How do you do it? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just a, it's just a thing. If that's how I do best, right? So I really try and. Oh, you're better. breaking up. I lost you. Oh, oh, so you got me there. Yeah, and you might, might need to up your sensitivity a little bit on that microphone to make sure you pick it. It picks you up. Oh. I don't know. It's strange. We didn't. We never saw that one just earlier. We didn't have any issues before. Let's just keep going and see what happens. If it, if it becomes a problem, we'll have you adjust it. But uh, anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's you know that's when I perform best. Oh, yeah, it's doing it. Yep, we're cutting out like crazy. Maybe you got to adjust that sensitivity. Make it a little more sensitive so it picks you up. It's... Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, automatically. How about that? Yeah, there we go. All right, How let's, about that? let's try again. Yeah. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right, guys? 
I feel like every time I talk about being calm and collected, it just cuts out. Well, it didn't right <laughs> there. So you're on a you're on a good streak. So keep it going. Yeah, I'm I'm staring at the at the slider there. It's you know I got the sensitivity and I'm just talking right over it. It's yeah, perfect. good. <laughs> But no, man, some, some pilots just, just, they can do that. They can be angry and they can yell at people and, you know, get all that adrenaline out. And I just need to be focused because that's how I do the best. And somehow, you know, drone racing makes that very hard on you because, you know, you want to, you want to be forceful. You want to evacuate somehow. Yeah, right. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I really work on, you know, meditating and you know, just I have a few tricks that I use to just try and really, you know, throw everything out and push everything away and just try to be in the moment and be focused because that's what, what you want. You want your brain to be 100% in that moment. Yeah. And that's the hardest part. So, yeah, you know, there's everyone has their different ways. I um, I just need to be calm. That's, that's the now, only way. Well, let me ask you this. Do you recommend that other people try to find a way to be in that similar Zen state that you are? Do you, do you think that that is a better way to handle yourself in the middle of a race? Or or is it just one of those things like do whatever you feel is natural? Man, not just racing. I think this is for everything. Okay. I've had people write me. Someone actually wrote me that he was like a, um, I think it was a nurse or a doctor and wrote me, you know what? <laughs> Take it easy, take it smooth, and smooth is fast. Yeah. And that's, I learned that from, from watching you race. And yeah. I, I couldn't be more humble, you know, people writing me stuff like that. Because I think it's true. You gotta, you gotta, a lot of people tend to have these, these moments of panic. You know, right. it's overwhelming. Stuff happens to you. You can't deal with it. You just gotta do something, and then you do something stupid. Right. You know, whatever it is, whatever is coming at you, take a breath. Make sure you know what's up and what your tools are what your options are and think about it, pick your best one and go for it. And now, easier said than done well, for drone yeah. racing because it <laughs> happens so fast, right? So um, yeah, you gotta be intuitive. Well, that's why you gotta clean, clear the mind beforehand. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, you know, easier said than done. You took the words in my mouth, but I think that that also comes with practice and with doing this often, you know, getting yourself and involved in as many races as you possibly can, right? You know, putting yourself in that position more and more allows you to kind of work with it more and more, right? Yeah, well, I feel like at first I thought, you know, I so I'm actually a really good example for that. I used to be terrible, absolutely terrible. I remember my first race, you know, I had like the hands on the controller and like my fingers would tremble so much yeah. that the whole drone would shake. Yeah. It was not a way to go. It was no. not a way to go. <laughs> and lo and behold, you know, um, people are calling me out these days as the, as the smoothest flyer. So, well, you know so what? They're not wrong. Yeah. They, they so there are, are ways. You can really focus on what you're doing. You can keep it smooth. You can breathe it out. You can focus on being calm and collected, and it works. It works. Yeah. Well, that's something you guys should definitely take it, take into take to heart and and try to fit it into your training regimens out there because it helps you more than you could imagine. Gab is just one of the calmest souls we've ever had on. I think the calmest person we've ever had on the show, and he does it with such just ease and relaxation you know i mean very rarely do we see you get you know super angry or excited or any of that kind of stuff but when you, when you do get excited you definitely definitely let that emotion out though that's for sure <laughs> i feel like i'm i'm the, the kind of guy who will let everything go once everything's done yeah and uh, yeah it's it's one of those things like a lot of the guys like to cheer you know after heat but right. you know after heat you know what there's another heat yeah <laughs> you, can't just, you can't let go there you can't let your emotions flow you can't you're still, you're still, you're still in it. You're still in the race. Right. It's still a race. Exactly. You, you, you don't see, I don't know, Lewis Hamilton, whatever, you know, you know, F1 drivers, they don't just stop in the middle of the race. Yeah, I'm so stoked about that pass. <laughs> you don't do that. You they got two laps it. done. They're already celebrating <laughs> on their laps. You know, they got 38 more, but you know. <laughs> yeah. you, you just don't do that. So, um. For me, it's the same thing. Sure, we get a moment, you know, we get a moment to, to, to cheer to the crowd. We get a moment to, to scream at other pilots if we want to or sure. or just chat with uh, with whoever's interviewing us. Uh, but um, I just try to keep it together and um, cheer at the end because that's when you really want to cheer. 
Words of wisdom from Gab707, ladies and gentlemen. Something to definitely put into your regiment, like I said earlier. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We're going to have a lot of fun, though. I tell you that. We've got about oh, a yeah. little less than 15 minutes left till qualifying is done. If you haven't set your times already or you haven't started to climb that leaderboard, make sure you guys are getting in there and setting those times. you got less than 15 minutes until qualifying is done, and we seed our top 24 into the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen, get it together. you got to get going. Um, a lot of a lot of you guys typing in the chats. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you're tweeting at us using that hashtag DRLSM Live and uh, tweet at Drone Race League. Get your questions over to us for Gab 707. Whatever you guys got, we're happy to help you out. Um, Spacey girl typing in the in-game chat over there. Hey, uh, hey, mom, I'm on the uh, the internet TV. Yes, you are, Spacey girl. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much for for sending that message to us. We appreciate it. Um, Gab. Coming from uh, Matt uh, Fifield, I think I said that right. Gab, do you guys use analog or digital glass when you fly in races? Digital glass, glass. That's I what guess he says. I guess we use. Um, so yeah, I mean. Are I you talking? Well, I mean, that depends if he's asking minutes. about DRL races, right? I'm assuming he's talking about DRL races. Yeah, I'm assuming he's talking about you know uh, the the down the FPV downlinks that we have, and uh, yeah, HD has become a thing recently. But uh, for racing, we're definitely sticking to analog, just because it's uh, it's a latency-free link. Yeah, it's just way faster, and that's what we want from the drone. What we are really talking about is not anymore. Um, you know, I move the stick, and there's a delay. It's it's just the feel of it. It goes too fast for us to really perceive the differences. Let's yeah. say between really the the analog link or the HD link or whatever the link is, but. It just doesn't feel the same way, and we want the, the machine to feel as locked as possible, and that comes with just reducing the latency, and that's, you know, the only way to do that at the moment is through analog. Right. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for that question. He said glasses is what he had said, but um, I think we got the gist oh. answered for what he was asking. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for the question. Throw it back out there if you have another one as well, too. So, by all means, Brian Tucker, hey, man, he says, it's Gab. Uh, Soundist Monkey 9 says, yo, 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 what's up? How are you, man? Thank you so much for joining us. Timothy, fix your internet, man. Hopefully it's better for you, brother. Um, just did that tweet. Great. Thank you. Timothy, thank you for, th for sharing that information. Jaws says, Dr. Gab. What's up, Jaws? How are you? What's up, Jaws? Long time right. no see. 12 minutes left, guys. Let's take a look at who our top guys are on the track as it stands right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Halo Walker is sitting on top. Let's go to the actual results, though, so we can see some of those amazing times. Halo Walker, a 103.11 right now. Holy shit. That's ridiculous, oh, that's a good bro. Time. <laughs> that's fantastic. Dolma with a 103.24. Tombo, 103.55. He's in the number three spot. A Drone, Creator Gamer, G Man, Joel Cruz, Hondo, Shames, Captain Crazy. All you guys are one through 10 as it stands right now. Going over to page number two just for you, Mr. Tucker. Imperious FPV up in the mix, Free, Vizzy, Burf, Bernie FPV, Thumbs, Rocker Guy, Scrappy FPV, Default, uh, Flying Ryan's in there at number 20. Going over to page three, this is 21 through 24. Top Shot, Sackett, you're at number 21 right now. OG's, uh, Robot, and The Ice Cheetah. That's the one I haven't seen before. I think that's a new one. Is that a new one, Trev? Have you seen The Ice Cheetah before at all? I don't recall. I'm not familiar with Ice Cheetah, but no. uh, I'm excited to see uh, how he does Ice Cheetah, like I'm, the name. Yeah, I'm definitely curious as how this That's Cheetah is so it. icy. What's going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Ice Cheetah, you're number 24 right now with a 105.39. So that's the cutoff as it stands right this second. But, of course, that's going to change in a matter of minutes. Let's uh, let's just do a quick refresh over here to page number one. Halo Walker still top, Domal Tomba, Andro, uh, Adrone. Nothing's changed here. And going over to page number three one more time before we kick it off. Yeah, Top Shot, Sackett, OG's, Robot, 105.39 for the Ice Cheetah. Sky, you're right there, brother. You're almost in there. Shrimpy Boy, you're almost there as well. Tribal, uh, Mr. Doom. God, how do I say this? Xperia Glory, I think that's correct. You're a 106.07, so you just need to shave about a, a little over a second or so. Zut FPV in there as well. Um... Does Dare have his QX7? That's a good question. X, I don't know where SK Dare is tonight, but if you're hanging out with us and you're in the chat somewhere, SK Dare just want to know, did you get your QX7? For those who don't know what we're talking about, SK Dare, which is not on the boards tonight, maybe he's not flying tonight, has been in the top 24 almost every time, I think, if not every time, with a PlayStation controller, ladies and gentlemen. 
and he does it just amazingly. So, uh, for those that wonder, can I do this with a PlayStation controller? Do I have to have a Tyrannus or, or maybe like an RC controller like one of these? No, you can actually use an Xbox, a PlayStation controller, and, and you can do amazing with it. So, he does. He doesn't make any modifications to the controller. The only thing he did was wrap the, the handles with, with uh, electrical tape. But, you know what? If he can do it, you guys can do it as well. So, I don't know where he is tonight, but if we happen to see him in the chat... Or somebody tag him. So let's find out from him if we, if he actually got his QX7. I'm not sure. Um, the Mighty Thor. What's up, man? Hey, what do you guys do? Uh, what do you guys do here? What games are you playing tonight? Is this the fighting drone robot leak? It is, Thor. You're just in time. We're going to destroy some drones in just a few minutes. Shut up. You're new here. Get the hell out of here. The Mighty Thor, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not following him, by the way, on YouTube, you should be. Very helpful, dude. Uh, gives a lot of good information. Always doing amazing reviews. Check him out, the Mighty Thor. Uh, FPV Kev, I know you're around too. I know you weren't able to watch the show. I know you're probably going to watch it in the morning. So if you do, FPV Kev, just wanted to give a shout out to you. And also, he wanted to say hi to you as well, Gab. FPV Kev's one of the guys that hangs out with us quite often. And um, he always makes sure he catches our show. But he, he wasn't able to be live here with us. So he wanted me to tell you hello. Well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Kev. Uh, uh, we're getting into it. I'm also sexier than Canoodle, Mighty Thor says. This is true. We have video to prove that too, right? Yeah. So there you go. Star says, good luck, everyone, tonight. Uh, I see Halo Walker looking good. Uh, go get it, my man. Halo Walker, we'll see how you do tonight. We want to know how your predictions are, so make sure you let us know as well. Uh, looking at the qualifying boards one more time. Eight minutes, 25 seconds left till qualifying is over, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few more minutes. And let's look at those boards one more time and make sure that hasn't changed too much. Dolma now squeaks into the number one spot with a 103.10, pushing Halo Walker down to number two. But I'm sure as he hears that, he'll be going back at it to get that number one spot. Tombo, Adrone, Creator Gamer, G-Man, Joel Cruz, Hondo, Shames, Captain Crazy. You guys are all one through ten. Imperius I'm Free. I'm, I'm sorry? I'm impressed at how good their times are already. Like, uh, that's... Those are some pretty pretty serious times that the guys have been putting down in just a few minutes. So. Well, these guys have certainly been grinding this track prior to the tournament starting. So they have they definitely know the track. They've got it down. They've got it memorized. They know all the ins and outs. It's just a matter of fine tuning that line for them these past couple days leading up to today's event. Uh, remember, this is the last a a tournament for this track. And tonight, after tonight's tournament, we'll show you guys a new track for next week for you guys to start grinding on as well. Sky uh, has made it in there now. Number 15 with a 104.65. Uh, Rocker Guy, Bernie, Thumb, Scrappy, and Default all the way down. OGs, Flying Ryan, Top Shot, Sackett, and Robot. The Ice Cheetah! Oh, you got pushed back, Ice Cheetah. You're a 105.39. You need to beat a 105.35 right now. So a little, just a little shave off of that will get you into the mix. Uh, Zut, you're just barely missing it as well. Shrimpy Boy, Tribal, uh, Mr. Doom, and Xperia Glory. Also, just barely off a little bit, guys. Um, Trav, you got us some fastest times. Some what are the fastest qualifying times from Tuesday's <clears throat> event? Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I posted to you. It was actually so the fastest from Tuesday was G-Man with a 103.26. So we've uh, seen that beat, and you can see Star was uh, second, uh, top qualifier with a 103.30, and then Halo Walker was third with a 103.43. He's already beat that time tonight. Wow. Okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, Dare has not. We've gotten a, we've gotten responses in the chat. This just in, ladies and gentlemen. Devil's Reject says Dare has not received his controller yet. Oh man. Okay. Something to look forward to when he finally does and see how he does uh, with the difference between going from that uh, gamepad controller over to that RC controller. It's pretty radical. Uh, Gap, have you tried a game controller on the sim before? I have. Actually, it was a demo when we were at in Singapore. It was just a screen there and the controller, and I yeah. was trying to teach some people how to fly. And I, I came in, I was like, "Hey, let's just let me let me show you how it's done." You know, I'm I'm a pro. And I rolled <laughs> up and I picked the controller up. And I, <laughs> I see where this is I going too. Oh, I could not fly. Uh, <laughs> it's not fly. when you're used to an RC controller that has that huge <laughs> amount of resolution in the sticks, right? It's a, such a different yeah. feel. And then you go to a game controller, it's so different. I I would argue that gaming controllers might be harder than... than they were, uh, no, they're, uh, they're way harder. I mean, maybe for some people who are really used to it and, you know, right, used yeah. to holding these giant sticks, but I can't do it. I mean, I need 
I feel like I'm I'm so used to having the range of motion that the sticks have. Yeah. It's it's a whole package that you just get so locked into. It's muscle memory, right? Right. Everything we do here is muscle memory. You're not wrong there, that's for sure. And, and you know, for those that are used to they haven't used an actual RC transmitter, then yeah, the game controller might work for you. But when you're used to that throw, you're used to that resolution, and then you yeah. then you really restrict it with the game controller, it just really makes it difficult. But you can do it. Uh, I've lately been flying more and more with a game controller. So like all the times that I've been putting on the boards have been with an Xbox <laughs> controller. Not the not the, the easiest to do, but you know, uh, you could do it. Nonetheless, Gab, you've flown tonight's track. How did you do? I did all right. Um, well, I would say that I would not be making tonight's cutoff. <laughs> but <laughs> in my defense, I only tried for 20 minutes. Okay. I, um, I really like the track, though. It's uh, It's got a lot of really um, subtle elements. Like It's actually quite easy to fly. All the, you know, all, all the elements are pretty big and you have space to fly through. Yeah. But if you want to be fast through them, you got to put some thought into it and what you actually do. Yeah. And it's interesting. I was watching through a lot of the, the lines of the top guys and there's always little subtle points. And if you look at, um, I think, Amari or, or Orange stuff, um, they have, like, you know, there's these two, like, vertical gates that you have to go through mm -hmm. and you, you very clearly see it when you put like um when you try to watch all of them together there's just when you go lower you just gain so much speed and then through a lot of these other gates it's it's all like subtle things in the line and you think you're, you, you'd be flying at full throttle like you know i was flying the track at full throttle at the start right. but i was in the 107s or something and then you start you know itching away a bit closer here a bit quieter there keep the momentum and suddenly you start winning those seconds and, yeah you know one second here a second there and um yeah i have a lot of respect for the guys who really push this to to get to you know the 102s which is absolutely yeah. ridiculous those are really at the borderline you know way beyond what you would do with an with an actual racing quad. well um, i'll tell you what since, since we're on that discussion let's pop up orange stuff's time and he has a 103.33 on this track, which is incredibly fast, but here is his run at this track. Uh, down that straightaway, making that hard left turn. Just flawless so far, like butter going up and down, hitting that split S, coming into that ascent, and then the dive back down. Notice how tight he was to the top side of those gates. There was just no wiggle room there whatsoever. I haven't seen it yet, Halo. Uh, on that dive down, Orange Stuff just killing it again, tight to the upper inside of that portion, allowing him to stay as tight as he can to the possibility of those inside lines not fraying away at all. And then on to lap number two. Let's switch over to his FPV view so you can kind of get a little better understanding. There he is, that split us the ascent, and then the dive back down. That's a really difficult maneuver to do that tight without dropping and bottoming out. Through that corridor, yep. onto that wall ride and then the dive down into the pit. Look at how close he is to that upper inside lip. On that Emmelman, doesn't quite do the Emmelman, but does the faster route through there and then makes that final turn. Here he is into the finish. And I, I would argue to say that that final turn could have been sharpened up just a tiny bit. You can see that kind of wobble there towards the end. Let me pull that up for you guys. Uh, let's see, here we go. Yeah, and he I'll was you slightly a, wide on that So one. right there, okay? So that the fact that he was, that he turned just ever so abruptly right there. That's right there is what's going to slow him down. You can see him kind of push himself off to the side. And that that if he could have tightened that up, maybe taken the apex of that turn just right, maybe even possibly kind of later apex that one, not quite center, he would have had a faster exit out of that turn and it wouldn't have been able to, he wouldn't have swung wide. But I mean, that would have shaved milliseconds. I don't think a whole, you know, a huge amount would have been done there. Nonetheless, well, though, a fantastic time from him. Uh, a 102.63 correction. Sorry about that, guys. What was that, Gab? Yep. And it's it's what I found insane is that like the top the top guys. There's a 102.62 by Amari. There's a 102.63 mm -hmm. orange stuff, and there's a 102.64 by AJ FPV. Yeah. Like, he, he, that does not get any closer. No. They, <laughs> they don't oil. And what's still interesting is that even at that level, they don't have the exact same line. They have like a slightly different way to do certain elements of the track. Yeah. But it comes out to be the same time, which I find really, really amazing. But it's one pretty... of the things is interesting. You were talking about the like the Immelman. All of them actually take that one sideways. So they, they try to keep the, right. the next gate in view while they're doing the Immelman, which is 
which is great because you you see it and you see where you go but it's it's kind of awkward to do when you don't have, when you're not used to it yeah uh, less than 10 seconds left till qualifying's over, guys, and we'll get our seeded group into the quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, going back to what you were saying about that Emmelman, yeah, that's the idea, right? That, that Emmelman, but no one is taking it that way. No one's no one's actually taking an actual Emmelman through that section because it's just, it, they, they're they able to almost pull in sideways through that and kind of push out of it. And, it. and it ends up being a faster line than having to go all the way upside down and then, and then roll over out of an invert. It just makes it a little bit quicker. So, um, yeah. Whatever they have to do to get that faster line is obviously what's needed here in the races. Sharker says, hey, Noodle, where's that window? The window's over there, my man. I'm just on the other side of the studio. That's all. We just we rearranged the whole damn thing here, and we got a brand new PC. So um, if you guys notice that there's something off with maybe the audio or, or whatever, just let us know, guys, because this is a brand new system here. We're still ironing out the little kinks here and there. So uh, keep me honest, okay, guys? Help me out. Um, qualifying is done. And we're waiting for our results for quarterfinals. Trav, do you have any update for us there? Are we uh, are we ready to take a look at those results yet? We are ready to go. Ah, sweet, sweet. All right. Looking at our top 24 pilots, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you guys that screen for you. Dolma, Halo Walker, Tombo, Adrone, Shames, Joel Cruz, uh, Creator Gamer, G-Man, Hondo, Captain Crazy, Imperious FPV, Free, Burf, Vizzy, Scrappy FPV, Sky, Rocker Guy, Bernie FPV, Thumbs, Robot, Default, OGs, Flying Ryan, and Top Shot Sackett. You guys have all made the top 24. Group number one, however, will be Dolma, G-Man, Hondo, Sky, Rocker Guy, and Top Shot Sackett. All right, Gab, this is that time where I was telling you you got to hit that spectate button. Yep, I, right. uh, I came in just too late, and it says in-game now. No, 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 we're, we're not. You should be you should be able to get in there. Go to um, go, go to the tournaments. Go to the tournaments tab from the main menu. Ooh, tournaments. Uh, Unreal Gecko Live says Canoodle, will you uh, you will remember your screen changes? I have faith in you. Tonight. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully. I think I think we're, I'm getting, I'm starting to get used to the things laid out this way. So, uh, P.S. Good to see you, Devils and Shrimpy. Uh, Cartograph says, Cartograph, what's up, man? One of our track masters right there. Blue drone? Question mark. Winner? Question mark. I don't know. We'll find out. The red drone's been one of the luckier ones. Um, Gab. So, did you get to the tournaments tab? I did, but then I basically click on our tournament and I can't find a way to get in. You should have an enter button after you click on the turn. Once you click on the first tournament tab, there should pop up with the tournaments that are available. You'll click on yeah. the one that's there, and then you'll have an enter button on the right side. Uh, I only have a watch watch button. Uh, in the tournaments tab, you have a watch button. Yeah. I'll, and and then it sends me it sends me to Twitter to to actually to watch it to watch the stream. Hmm. Oh, I'll, you know what? I'll get. It. Well, maybe you, maybe you haven't system. restarted your system since we made you. Have you has you have you had the game on all day? Uh, I may have. So, so you let might have just, not restarted after we gave you special access, special VIP. Let me restart, access. reboot the whole thing over here. Yeah, do that. Should, yeah, if you could shut it down for me, I'm just gonna confirm with the back end that you got this VIP access that you need, and then I'll I'll let you know when you can open it back up. VIP. Hey, Timothy, I'm good, man. How are you, brother? SK Dare's having computer issues. Oh, just got an update know. from Amy. She tells us that he's having computer issues, which is why he can't join us tonight. Oh, I'm so bummed to hear that, Dare. All right, we got a prediction in the chat from Star. We haven't gotten one from Halo Walker yet, but we got one from Star. Star says he's guessing Dolma, Hondo, and Sky. For this group right here. So we'll find out if that's actually the case a little bit later. Um, hey, Imperius, how are you, man? Gab, how much does a BMP CC 4K cost? What the hell are you talking uh, about, man? A BMP CC 4K, that is a camera. What? Yeah. How do you just I, know I, that I, off the top of your head? I'm over here thinking he's trying to be a smart ass and like throw some random shit in the chat, you know? And I, you know, I don't. Gab's like, oh yeah, well, that's a that's a camera. It's got a 4K a lens on it. It's got a something. huge aperture setting. And then, <laughs> go, go ahead. It's a two and, two and something uh, grand camera. 
Um, no, he, he's commenting on that because we were. I've just been posting um, about a, a new rig. We just nice. uh, designed a new rig that is made to carry a DSLR. And uh, I just posted a little clip of me flying around with my BMPCC 4K, which is a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera. Ah. And uh, it's kind of a big thing. And, you know, it's yeah, two, two grand and something. And then, and then probably another 500 for the lens. So, you know, wow. sort of your payload. And you can freestyle the thing around and it's pretty fun. But um, yeah, there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of risk involved. Yeah. In life. Well, there I you guess. go. That gives you your answer. I'm sorry, go ahead, Trav. I, 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 I had a word with the bouncer. We've added your name to the VIP <laughs> list. If you could just uh, start the game up again and uh, let's get you in here. I gotta exit the club and kind of come back in. Yeah, yeah. You know, every once in a while, you gotta walk outside, get some fresh air, and come back in, right? It's That's weird it. rules. It's weird rules. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just trying to catch up here on chat. Oh, gotcha. Good vibes. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> that devil. <laughs> Uh, you guys over in YouTube, how are you tonight? Darn it, Dara. I was rooting for you. Go Flying Ryan from Spokane, Washington. Racer T says in the YouTube chat. Thanks, man. Gabba Gabba. Hey, the Ringer 1976 says. How are you? Tribal with a 105.18, apparently, huh? Hello, Walker first. Tombo and then Dolma. Racer T says. Those are his predictions. There's a YouTube? There is a YouTube, Busta. Hey, what's up, Phoenix? How are you? Boom. How much time is left, SK Dare says. Qualifying is over, my friend. We're just trying to get Gab into the VIP oh, club. In. That's also known as the spectator find, booth. On the bracket screen, just look for group one in that uh, quarterfinal round. You should have a spectate button there. All right. Question from... Are we, are, we, are we there? Are we there? We're there. I'm going to start us up. Let's go. All right. All right. Going into quarterfinal one. Heat number one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, question from Raphael on Twitter. What radio slash controller do you guys suggest for the sim as an upgrade from playing on an Xbox One or gamepad? Or an Xbox One gamepad. That's a really, really good question, Raphael. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of different controllers that you can go with, whether it be the, the X9D, which a lot of us use here at DRL, or the QX7, which is an FR Sky by Tyrannus Radio as well. A little less uh, expensive, so you might be able to get in there a little more affordable. But there's a lot of them. Uh, join me on Discord in the controllers channel, and we can have a discussion and talk about different ones that are available and find the one that's best for you with your budget, okay? Hit us up on there. Uh, here we are in heat number one on the drop out of that ascent into that dive gate, now up to the sky gate. And the drop down, the hard right turn. We got Hondo in yellow sky and green rocker guy in the purple drone. G-Man in blue. Top You're shot. You're going to have a restart on this rate, Tony. Ah. Okay. We had a uh, we have an issue here with uh, with Dolma. All right. And uh, since we kind of delayed things there, we're gonna give him another chance. All right. Well, we're starting that one for you guys. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Raphael. So hit us up in the Discord channel. Uh, I know you're familiar with it because you and I have talked before, but s send a message in in that controllers channel, and we can have a whole chat around different controllers and find the one that's best for you. Uh, within your price range and of course, you know people are in different countries So some countries it's easier to get a hold of certain controllers than others. So we want to make sure we get something good um, do, I yeah, I, I don't recommend the FSI 6 devil only because of the issues that are known to happen with that controller Yes, it's a good price and it's a great step up if you're going from an Xbox or a PlayStation controller to an actual transmitter it's it's a it's a fairly inexpensive controller to get you into the game, but there just are just more issues than I'm comfortable with with recommending it. Um, it's just my personal opinion. Jumper, so Dan Drones is also saying I've got a couple people talking about the Jumper T16, a good radio as well. Also running OpenTX firmware, which is the same firmware that's ran on the FR Sky Tyrannus radios as well. And I've heard good things about it. So I haven't personally used it myself. I know there's lots of videos about it online. I know Josh Bardwell, who's on here before with us as a guest, he's done reviews on that. So make sure you're checking out Josh Bardwell's channels for lots of different controllers as well. How we doing, Trev? Uh, We're good. We're waiting on you now. If you okay. can jump back in. Yep. I'm there. All right. Getting ready for heat number one. 
again, ladies and gentlemen. Had a little setback, technical issue with one of our pilots, but we're going right back into it for him. Restarted that heat. We got drones loading in on the podiums. X light, that's another good one. Here's that outside the, uh, view. I'm sorry, go ahead. The Tango 2 is a new uh, newcomer. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. All right, into the action. G-Man in the blue drone following along with him. Currently dropping out of fifth place, but the, the mix is so tight. You can be all the way up there and all the way back within seconds, if not less than that. Dolma in the red drone. Hondo in yellow sky in green. Rocker guy in purple. And top shot Sackett in that orange drone. Over the bridge into the Emelman, and the cube is next. G-Man swings a little high and wide. That slows him down onto lap number two. Dolma in red in the lead as he goes up and over and through that split S on the ascent and the dive into the dive gate. Hondo just behind him in yellow on the scream to the sky gate. The drop down and tight right turn. Rocker guy follows along in third in the purple drone. The wall ride is here. The drop down into the pit. Dolma, Hondo, and Rocker Guy. You're one, two, three as they dive down. Rocker Guy making the moves on Hondo. Tries to press him. Swings on the inside through the through the cube. Tries to take second place. Not able to. Hondo takes it right back. The run to the finish. Rocker Guy gets second. Dolma with a 104.83. Rocker Guy just behind him. A 105.26. No, 56. And a 105.60 from Hondo. Man, that was close. Oh, wow. Holy that was hell. A good hit. I mean, you saw you saw Dolma, who was basically he had a bit of a slow start, but he was you know just super calm. He knew he had the rhythm. Uh, if you look through the gate that I was just talking before, you know the two vertical gates. You saw Dolma take that super tight. He he, he basically did not climb at all. He just basically ninja sliced the first yeah. one and ninja sliced <laughs> the second one, and then out he was in the lead. And then all he had to do was just sit on there and uh, let the other guys, you know catch the scraps and that's not easy to do trying to split that right there is just it's it's tight and it's, there's no room for error in that section well we've got four more heats to go from quarterfinal group number one i say we get into it right away let's not stop the action there of course make sure you guys are tweeting at drone race league use the hashtag drl sim live we've talked about it a lot but if you want to win 100 bucks that's the way to go Theo Lambert over on YouTube says it's so hard to shave three seconds that's what i needed to get into the 24 se oh man Theo, I'm sorry, brother. I'm so sorry, my man. All right, here we go. Heat number two, ladies and gentlemen. We're on board with Hondo and his FPV as he makes that hard left turn. The up down into the split S, the dive down around, holding on to a great spot. Rocker guy swinging in front of him on the dive out of those two gates and the run up to the sky gate. He'll make that drop and tight right turn. Dolma in the mix. Now you can see him right in front of him. Hondo's got a good view of Dolma in red and Rocker guy in purple on the dive down underneath. Honda going a little lower than what he needed to. He could probably shave a little time there, but somehow he's moved up front. Dolma and Rocker falling back. Lap number two starts now. This straight run, hard left turn, takes the outside wide swings in. Honda with a great turn. Now onto that split S, lose a little momentum there. Dolma moves ahead in red. The dive gate, and up top into the sky gate. Dolma holding on, not letting go. Let me give you that outside view. Sometime it'll give me that outside view. There it is. The drop down. Hondo still in the lead. Dolma right behind him. G-Man, however, way back there. There he is in the number three spot. Barely getting to that cube as they come out of it. The final turn. And where is the rest of the pack? Nowhere to be found. Hondo, Dolma, and G-Man. Your one, two, three sky top shot sack it. And I believe it was Rocker Guy in the number four, five, and six from heat number two. So two heats down and three to go. 17 points on the board for Dolma and Rocker Guy. I'm sorry, Hondo. 15 on the board. Eight and seven for G-Man and Rocker Guy. We got three heats to go. That was a go. really good heat. That was a really good heat by Hondo. He really pulled in. You know, he showed what he had to had to give and uh, gave Dolma a run for, for his money. I don't know how Hondo got up front, stayed up there, and didn't let these guys go. And at one, one or two times... He had a drone passing him, but he was able to hold on to it and stay in contention the whole time. Kudos to you, Hondo. Nice job in that yellow drone there on heat number two. Heat number three, we're looking through the eyes of Sky as he makes that first turn. And up and down, the split ass is here. Sky looking good so far. Let's a couple drones pass him, but he'll get them right back, I'm sure. The dive gate splits the difference beautifully there. He's got G-Man and what looks like Dolma just in front of him. 
onto the wall, rides. Sky drops to fourth place. Now Hondo behind him in yellow on that dive. Up and over the bridge into the Emmelman, both to all taking it sideways. Through that cube, and lap number two starts now. The run across the starting line. And the vertical slalom, if you will, the split S. Sky holding on to fourth place. No fifth now, dropping down. Not a good view for him so far. He's got to find a way to shave some time or hope that these guys make some mistakes and he's able to make those passes. Here we are on the wall ride. And so far, everyone looking really good. The dive down. Sky tied to the inside but drops a little low out of the back end. That Elmerman, beautiful job transitioning into the cube. Tight on the inside. The final turn coming up. Sky a little wobble there but holds on tight. Makes it fifth. Dolma, 104.03 for first place. Hondo and G-Man, you're two and three. There's Top Shot Sackett bringing it in in sixth place with a goose egg. So, unfortunately, for heat number three, but 27 points on the board for Dolma. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a 104.03 from him. Hondo with 22, 13, and 10 for G Man and Rocker. Now, the predictions that have been out there are they holding true or do you need to change them up? We'll find out. We got two heats to go. What are you thinking, Gab? Yeah, Dolma's looking really good. He just turned up the heat on that one. He cut off, you know, almost a second, 104.03. That's going quite a bit faster. Hondo as well uh, turned up the heat, and the others are kind of getting lost there in the pack. I mean, it's not a huge difference, you know? Any of those guys can make a mistake, yeah. and you have room to pass and, and make the win and make some points. But, um, you know, Dolma has got a pretty, pretty good lead now. It's going to be hard to beat him. Well, all six up and away and staying tight together. A beautiful pack here full of colors as they go through the ascent and dive gate next. We start to thin out as a few guys start to fall back towards the rear. Rocker guy in purple, though, right there in the front. Sky in green pushes ahead. Hondo in yellow also up in the mix. Dolma in red falls back to fourth place. And we had some slight wobbles there. Hondo falling back just a little bit. Tries to get back into position, but takes the wide approach on the entrance to the cube. That slows him down ever so slightly. He's in fourth place currently. Nice pass, though, on G-Man in the blue drone. Dolma still up front. Sky in second right behind him. Hondo now in third place as G-Man falls back to fifth place. Big fumble from him. Rocker guy in the purple drone looking smooth and solid as he approaches the wall ride. Sky still up there fighting with Dolma, though. Dolma and Sky. Hondo in the mix as well. All three of these guys. Hondo swings high and wide. That slows him down. Dolma on the final turn. Beautiful turn through there, and Dolma oh. takes it in first place. Hondo somehow creeps into second, and Sky in third. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful job by Dolma. Again, you know, he started slow. We thought Dolma had given this heat away. And then he just crawled his way back up and uh, ends on a really good time, 104.49. That's really solid. Hondo is looking more like he's, you know, 104, you know, the, the upper half of the 104s. Yeah. And he's struggling to, to stay in there. And, um, yeah, again, a really good one by Dolma. Dolma doing a great job staying consistent in those 104s. Only one heat in the low 104s. The rest of them have been mid-range to high-range 104s, but doing a, a great job nonetheless. Staying consistent is key, and you, Gab, can speak to that. One of the most consistent yeah. pilots I've ever met in my life. What's well, the key you know, to doing that? Especially in this format. This is really important where you're just counting points. Um, you just want to make sure that you're in contention every single time. It does, actually doesn't even matter if you're just first or second, yeah. but Dolma's been doing a great job of just killing it every time, and uh, three wins now out of four heats. You couldn't be in a better position. No kidding. And that red drone, it seems to be a helpful one for some reason. Uh, everyone uh, loves that uh, that red drone. It's the lucky one, but it's been proven that it's not that lucky all the time. Of course, there's some skill involved, I'm sure. Here we uh, are on... Are only <laughs> lucky on the first and second seasons of Dero. Yeah, that's, there you go. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. Thank you for that, Gab. <laughs> we got some drones everywhere going every which way in this final heat. Hondo with a big mistake and fumble that goes down. Drops all the way to fifth place. Has to claw his way back up. What happened to Rocker Guy? Oh, he's in the mix right there with Hondo. But swings wide, wide on the dive. Allows Hondo to push ahead. Up front, though, it's Dolma on lap number two. G-Man right there with him and Sky in the green drone. He's in third place. These guys are in line of each other as they come out of that split S on the ascent and the dive back down. Dolma looking solid. Up top, the, the uh, sky gate, the drop into the right turn through that corridor. And Dolma just looking smooth as ever 
right now as he dives into the pit before he brings it back up and over the bridge into the Emmelman. And the cube is next. Dolma continuing to gain some ground and spread the distance between him and the rest of the pack. He'll take first with a 104 flat, his fastest time so far there in the go. tournament. 104.99 for G-Man in second and Sky in third. Whoo! I feel like Dolma's just warming up here. He's just, yeah, I got this. And the other guys can't can't touch me. But right? then again, we've seen we've seen Dolma really strong in some of the other tournaments. And then suddenly everything if things started stopped working out for him. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to keep watching. Well, remember, we're looking for our top through top three from each one of these groups, and Dolma, Hondo, and G-Man have done it. They'll be moving on to the semifinals while Sky, Rocker Guy, and Top Shot sack it. We'll have to give it another go on Tuesday next week at 3.30 p.m. Eastern to see if they can get in to that semifinal round, possibly the finals, and then possibly win it all to go on to that final event on April 2nd. We'll find out what happens here in quarterfinal group number two in just a moment. Let's get you guys the names of the players in group number two. Halo Walker, Creator Gamer, Captain Crazy, Scrappy FPV, Bernie FPV, and Flying Ryan. That's who's in group number two. There's your six pilots for this round. Um, good vibes. Wait, Nick is coming. No? Not that I'm aware of. Tony and Nick in the same booth trying to be bouncing off the walls. I don't know about that. Where'd you get that information, good vibes? Maybe it's information I don't know. <laughs> Gab, do you soft mount your GoPros for real steady, Busta is asking. Uh, it depends what kind of GoPro you have. If you're using a Hero 6 or a Hero 8, it actually works pretty well. Uh, if you don't soft mount them, if you're using a Hero 7, you need something that's very soft to make sure you don't have any of those high frequency vibrations. But um, yeah, we, you know, the, the, the log on the, uh, on the GoPro Heroes 6 and 8 have been pretty good. So uh, you don't really need to soft mount them, which is awesome. Well, there you go. Heat number one of quarterfinal group number two has started and Scrappy FPV and the Green Drones made his way up front. Halo Walker in red in the number two spot. Captain Crazy in yellow. Creator Gamer in the blue drone in the mix as well. Bernie FPV in purple and Flying Ryan. Well, he flies the orange drone on the drop into the pit and the ascent up and over the bridge into the Emmelman. And it's Halo Walker who's found his way up front in the red drone. Creator Gamer right there with them though. Trying to take the inside line, unable to make the pass. Halo Walker keeps him at bay. In and out of the split S, Creator Gamer closes the distance ever so slightly. Oh, but makes a big mistake on the dive gate and drops to third place. Halo Walker still holding on to the lead, and it's Scrappy FPV, who's currently in second place, right behind Halo Walker as he looks for his opportunity to make a pass. Halo Walker not making any mistakes at the moment and not giving any opportunities to anyone else. Creator Gamer, however, on the moves to pass Scrappy on the final turn, unable to do it. Halo Walker, Scrappy, and Creator Gamer. You're one, two, three as they cross that finish line. A 104.10 for Halo Walker, a 105.96, and a 106.23. Great job to Halo Walker, though. Having, having started towards the back of the half of the pack in the beginning of that race, and then quickly moving up to the front, great job moving in and out of that traffic to get yourself up front and not have to deal with the distractions around you or in front of you, those also known as the other drones. Because you know what, <laughs> Gab, I'm sure you can talk about it. Having another person flying right in front of your view can get quite annoying. And then you try to figure out a way to pass. Maybe you make the moves when you shouldn't have made the moves. Maybe you just had to do it because you didn't have a choice and that wasn't the best choice. But how do you how do well, you get over? I'd that? say I'd say these guys are pretty lucky. They don't have to deal with prop wash. <laughs> they don't have to deal with prop and and they don't have to deal with collisions. Yes, yes. That's no a collisions big deal. in the I've center. already had you know runs down the straightaway, and you're just behind another drone, and your drone just the whole drone starts like shaking and moving because yeah. you're in the turbulence of the drone in front, and oh. you know that if you get an inch too close, you know it, your race is over. So um, yeah, I think in the case of this, it's just about offsetting you and pushing you into your you know a wrong line. It's somewhere you don't actually want to go, yeah. and that's a big deal as well. You don't want to. Have them distract you and push you the wrong way. You don't want to follow them. You want to make sure that you keep your eyes on your, you know, visual markers on the track and make sure that you go the right place. Good advice there from Gab707 on dealing with that prop wash and dealing with someone else who's right in front of you. Speaking of somebody right in front of somebody else, it's Scrappy FPV in front of the rest of the pack as they stare at that green trail ahead of them, trying to find their opportunities to make those passes. Halo Walker getting into the mix, though. 
Look at Halo Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Right there with him. Let's go to Captain Crazy's view. You can see all three there at the front. Halo Walker, Scrappy, and Captain Crazy. Halo Walker has made that pass and sealed the deal. Captain Crazy swings a little high as he goes into that cube. That slows him down ever so slightly. But it was Scrappy's mistake that was made as he drops all the way to sixth place. From the issues in the cube, Halo Walker up front. Captain Crazy takes advantage of that mistake from Scrappy. Moves into second place. On the sky gate, the drop down. Halo Walker swung a little wide, but still maintains first place. And the same distance in front of Captain Crazy. Captain Crazy not finding any opportunities to close the distance on Halo Walker. If one mistake from Halo Walker, and that could cost him. The final turn into the finish. Halo Walker looking smooth and solid. A 104-22 for first place. Captain Crazy in second. And it's Flying Ryan who comes in third in that orange drone. A much needed five points for him to move off the bottom of the boards. So 20 points hits the total for Halo Walker after two heats. It's 10 points for Captain Crazy and eight overall for Scrappy. Your top three as it stands right now. Remember, top three only. Move on to the semifinals. They've got three more heats to go. Let's find out what happens here in heat number three. Man, Halo Walker is just crushing these guys. You can see it. Off the start, he takes his time, doesn't need to go fast, and then confidently overtakes everybody. One, two, three, four, and then he's first, and then the other guys can't catch him anymore. It's almost like he's an extra level on top of these guys. Yeah, no joke. A 208.33 overall fast time for Halo Walker. 212.64. 213.95 for the for Scrappy. We're ready for heat number three if you are, Trev. Just need a second to get this set up. All right. Yeah, we saw a creator gamer trying to really keep up with him, and he managed to keep up with uh, Halo Walker on the number of laps. But um, some somehow you saw that the pressure got to him. Yeah. Like he was he was on pace. He was on pace. He was with him. He was making some moves. But then you know at, at a certain moment he would just hit something and, and be out of the race because you have to be so precise all the time. You have to be cutting all the corners and the, the turns have to be good and, you know, otherwise you're not going to be there. So yeah. um, Halo Walker really giving us a, uh, a display of power right now. Halo Walker definitely knows what he's doing. He's been one of the top guys for some time now and his predictions are off the charts. That's for sure. Heat number three, however. Scrappy, a familiar sight, him up front in the green drone, as long as he doesn't make that mistake he made earlier on in the cube section on the last heat. He'll stay up front all along. Scrappy right there in the mix, Captain Crazy and Creator Gamer in blue. Your top three guys. Bernie FPV trying to make some moves on that drop. Cannot make any changes to the order. In and out of the cube, and lap number two starts now. Captain Crazy in the lead. Creator Gamer and Scrappy battling for second, though. Look at him go through the split S. Oh. Scrappy now makes a pass, moves into first. Halo Walker falls back to fourth. Captain Crazy and Creator Gamer, your yellow and blue. As they go back and forth through this turn and onto the wall right next, the dive is coming up. Scrappy fighting for second place with Creator Gamer as they set up for the Emmelman. Creator Gamer with a slightly better line takes the inside and on the run to the finish, he'll hold on to it for second place. Halo Walker moves into third, however, pushing Scrappy all the way to fourth place. Scrappy, Scrappy, Scrappy. Scrappy's been, he's been the guy who gets off the block through that first turn, through that vertical uh, slalom, if you will, and then in and out of that split S just beautifully. I would say that first quarter of the track if not first half of the track, he's got it down solid. Oh, yeah. He's making his mistakes, though, as he goes into that ascent to that sky gate and makes that turn into that corridor and then onto the wall ride. It, that section right there seems to be what's hurting him, as well as the entrance to the cube out of that Emmelman. He's got to find a way to tighten that roll out of that Emmelman and into that cube. It's an awkward one because you're going in one way and you got to turn it the opposite way to get into that cube. So he's got to find a better way to get in there. Could be the nerves as well. Uh, you're, you're not he's wrong there. So good on that start, and every time just kicks everyone's backside on that first. Oh, you, know, you could say it. He the kicks track. their ass. You could say it. Yeah, all that. Yeah, we can do what we want here. We don't have any rules. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's been so good and consistent, and then every time little mistakes. But you know that's where the consistency comes in. You don't want to just give out everything you have right. on the first, you know, half of the first lap. You want to be a, be sure to make it to the end every time. And uh, there's five races, and you got to be good on each five of those to the end. 
Well, you're not wrong there. Flying Ryan, though, off to a slow start off the podium and then makes an abrupt turn through turn number one. That slows him down. He's trying to catch up, though, in sixth place on the dive and has some trouble there. Let's switch it over to Captain Crazy, who's currently in third in the yellow drone, now fourth place, just behind Bernie, Halo, Walker, and Scrappy on the dive down. Captain Crazy pitching back already. And a great way to gain some ground. Oh, no! Captain Crazy hits the edge and goes down. But a quick recovery for him. Sixth place, lap number two. He's got some work to do on the ups and the downs, the split S, the turnarounds. Can he do it? We'll find out. The ascent and the dive. Captain Crazy looking to move up a position in front of Creator Gamer. Creator Gamer doing a great job holding him at bay. The dive down, the tight right turn. Halo Walker, on the other hand, already into the dive and coming out over the bridge. Through the Emmelman to Grandmother's House we go on the final turns to the finish. Halo Walker brings it in. Can he hold it? He does. A 103.98. Is that our fastest? Oh, yeah. That's the fastest we've seen so far tonight. Wow. Halo Walker with a 103.98. Ladies and gentlemen, a fantastic job from him. Holy hell. 35 points on the board for him. 20 for Captain Crazy and Scrappy with 18. Remember, top three guys move on to the semifinals. Bottom three are done and go home. Whoo! Rocker Guy says on the ups and downs, Canoodle, doesn't that mean flippy floppies? No, 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 no. The flippy floppies are after. The ups and downs were just the vertical slalom. You know what I mean? Just that, that section before the split S, that's what I was talking about. The ups and downs. Whoo! What a run, yeah. man. A lot of upsets on this one. A lot of mistakes. A lot of guys pushing. They, they're feeling the pressure right now. They know they need to make it. Well, you're not wrong there. Here's Bernie. Oh, we lost somebody. We lost someone. Uh, mah, mah. I We're assume we'll restart this one. Creator Gamer. All right. Well, the information from the man above, Mr. Travis Daly. The, the voice lost. of God. Yeah, he's the voice of God. We lost somebody, so we'll get him back in there. We got to get the flippy floppies discussion in from Gab. Oh, you fire away the questions if you have a question for him. The flippy floppy question. So they're talking about talking about doing aerial acrobatic maneuvers during races. There's some people out there. I won't name any names. <laughs> Devils reject. Who does not like flippy floppies? What he calls them, and I think they're just part of drone racing because drones fly in a three dimensional airspace, right? They don't. They're not. They're not just flying four-wheeled vehicles off the ground, right? I mean, they actually can go upside down in any other direction. So I think those... Yeah, well, those there's, there's tricky bits. So the, the thing is, to make flippy floppies, or what, what a lot of people like to call <laughs> flippy floppies, which for me is like freestyle moves, um, you have to use a lot of stick input. And the problem is, uh, the more stick input you give, the less absolute thrust you give to your motors, because you have to use some of that power to rotate the drone around. And then when you do that kind of stuff, well, you lose power. So you want to be very efficient in the way you make your moves. And so now, even if you set up, you know, something like we had in London, like two years ago, we had like three gates on the ceiling, on yep. the curved ceiling. That, yeah, was, that yeah, was crazy, by the way. The champion's loop. The champion's loop. Exactly. That was the name of it. And you got into that thing and you couldn't like flippy floppy your way through it or not. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be smooth. You had to be smooth on the sticks and you just hold your throttle. Hold your, hold your horses and just kind of cruise on through it. I mean, I don't know. Does that qualify as a flippy floppy? I think so. But speaking of holding your horses, let's hold it there until after this race <laughs> as we see what goes on here with these six pilots. Bernie FPV and the purple drone up there in the mix. This is Scrappy's view, though, as he dives down. Now plays chase behind Halo Walker and the red drone on the ascent. And then the dive down, the tight right turn through the corridor. Captain Crazy in the mix as well. Creator Gamer's view in the blue drone dropping in to the pit over the bridge and behind scrappy captain crazy creator gamer now trying to move up halo walker in the lead captain crazy in second creator gamer looks like he's holding on to third place the outside view there's the up and downs right there and that split s halo walker pulls ahead captain crazy in yellow just behind the ascent and descent now up to the sky gate halo walker doing a great job holding on through that corridor onto the wall ride captain crazy scrappy you're two and three on the dive down and Scrappy farther back. It's Captain Crazy now fighting for position, trying to take the inside. Beautiful job closing the gap, but can he hold on to it all the way in? Who's going to take the inside oh. turn? Halo Walker seals the deal oh. with a 104.21 versus Captain Crazy's 104.38. Oh, that was, that close. was close. Yeah. 
I thought Captain Crazy was going to be able to take him on that final turn and seal the deal for first, but Halo Walker just had a better turn, was able to hold that, that pace just a little bit tighter and, and bring it all the way in just ever so slightly faster. Man, whoo-wee, baby. Halo Walker. Momentum nice for the win right there, Halo Walker says. 45 points on the board. That's an immense win and a huge, huge points lead above the rest. 27 for Captain Crazy and 23 for Scrappy FPV. Those three guys moving on to the semifinals. Creator Gamer Bernie and Flying Ryan. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you guys again on Tuesday. What a run, huh, Gam? Yeah. I mean, Halo Walker, you know, just held this one through all the way. He made one mistake, I think, in Heat 3 where he dropped back a few seconds. But otherwise, he's been, you know, in the 104s every time. And yeah. he just did not give anyone a chance to come back. Even, even then, Captain Crazy laid down the superb 104.38 and you'd think that's the winning run right right but no halo walker lays down the 104.21 <laughs> man so, um uh, real, real quick i just want to say the way you talked before that heat we were talking about flippy floppies and the way you gave the explanation on it about you know doing the maneuvers causes you to not have that continuous thrust essentially that continuous throttle man that, that push that speed right you're losing it i have never heard anyone Bring it into discussion in such a well-mannered way than you have. And leave it to you, Dr. Gab, to do that. By the way, if you guys don't know, the guy's got a PhD as well. Yeah. He, is, he is Dr. Gabriel Kocher, right? Yeah, doctor. You should, you should, we shouldn't have a doctor it, of Cap 7 before. We should, that should be, why, we should have that on the name tag there above your video box. Travis, that should have been, we should have put Dr. Gab in there, huh? Yeah. Man, we didn't even... Uh, I'll make sure I don't make that mistake again. So I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it, it, is, it is a thing. And if you want to plan, you know, the... In a lot of... In a lot, I mean, so the first thing you want to do, I guess, you know, maybe this goes to a lot of the guys who start playing the sim and who want to try and compete at this level. The yeah. first thing you want to do is hold the throttle as much as you can. And then, once you can hold the throttle throughout the whole track and, you know, you make the turns and everything and you start getting an okay line, yeah. the next thing you want to do is try and be smooth on the stick. Because when you start stick bashing around the place, uh, first of all, you you kind of disorient yourself. You, you tend to not be as precise as where you want, you know, you're not as precise as where you want to be on the track. So you tend to be off, but also you lose thrust because the more you, you, you bash the sticks around, the less absolute power you get to the drone. And you want to get that power to move you forward not to make your turn. Turning so, is, you know, accessory. So if I have this correct, what you're saying is that they're not good for racing. Well, well what's not good for racing? The flippy floppies. No. No, they're terrible. <laughs> um. <laughs> but, but would you argue that they are necessary in drone racing? In drone racing? Well, so... I mean, I, I, maybe I need an explanation of what you mean by an actual flippy floppy. What is the technical? Well, I think I think there is technical it, it, determination. I will have to get to the bottom line, but can you do me a favor? Can you jump into this group? We've got to get this one going. Imperious, uh, Thumbs, Vizzy, OGs, Tombo, and Joel Cruz. That's the six that are up in quarterfinal group number three. As we wait for Gab to get in, there he is. We'll start quarterfinal group number three, heat number one, and we'll continue that conversation in a little bit. Uh, watching the best pilot on DRL at the DRL tryouts, Gab707. That's coming from Frodo FPV over on Twitter. Thank you, Frodo, for saying that about me. Oh, you mean Gab? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Frodo. Yeah. <laughs> um, over there in Twitch, Canoodle, his new DRL name should be Dab707, Halo Walker says. Can you give us a dab uh, over there, over there, uh, Mr. Gab? Is that a dab? Yeah. No, that's that's not. I mean, that's that's kind of like a salute with an arm up in the air. I'm not. We'll have to. We'll teach him how, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in heat number one. This is OG's eyes that we're looking through oh, as he goes oh, to that geez. dive, and he's currently in fifth place. Tombo in the red drone, continuing that red drone streak of good luck in front of Imperius and Vizzy. Joel Cruz in the blue drone in fourth place currently. Here's that outside view. Uh, I lied to you. There it is. Tombo in red, in the lead, Imperius and Vizzy, you're two and three just behind as they set up for the split S. The ascent and descent into the dive gate, not much of a dive, more of a sideways roll into it, if you will. Tombo on the sky gate and the drop down, the hard right turn into the corridor and the wall ride next. Tombo still in the lead, 
Imperious falling back, unfortunately. Tombo not giving anyone a chance to catch up, but it is Heat 1 of this group, and they had been dormant for an entire semifinal group. Two semifinal groups, actually, so they're getting back in the mix. Tombo Quarter. already bringing in Quarter. with a 104.25, a great run for him. Imperious in second, and Joel Cruz in third in the Blue Drone. Um, Cartograph Tombo, says... Tombo was Imperious on this one. Um, C Cartograph <laughs> has, has pointed out a very good um, observation. He says, that dab, I think you just became dad 707 that was a really bad that was a really bad dab though i don't, nah. I don't know if you're if you're a dad then you then you you've got the dab down i think yeah i think yeah because we deal with it because our kids do it about 172 times a day in front of us and they don't stop that and the and the floss that they're always doing they can't stand still you got to do the floss it's from fortnite you guys know what i'm talking about um but yeah, that that. It, but Gab's not a dad, so you can't you can't give him that one. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. I don't know. That stuff's not my culture. I it's mm, not. I wouldn't even know how to do that properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devil's Reject says anything inverted, MLMN split ass, anything where you go upside down equals flippy floppy. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. I don't know. I've heard for me, flippy floppy is a wild willy term. Wild willy. He's, uh, he's a flippy floppy, that's when why. Flip, when you do flips, you know? And you flip and you flop around. And that's that's a flippy floppy. Well, I mean, doing a split S, you kind of are flipping and flopping around, are you not? You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I I mean it's controlled, question. obviously. Yeah. Well, nonetheless, here we are through the first turn and onto the split S. Vizzy in green trying to claw his way up front and makes it to second. Not able to move forward past that, though. Joel's Cruz up in the front. Tombo in red tried to find his mark. And push ahead to first place. Joel keeping him at bay. Not anymore. Tombo now strikes as he dives down, falls back. Joel Cruz does keep him at bay in first place. Joel goes wide, and Tombo takes the inside line, makes the swooping pass. Pushes ahead in first place. Joel Cruz preloading that turn beautifully, catches back up. The split S to come out, and the ascent and dive back. Joel Cruz in second place. Tombo takes over again. These two are back and forth. Neck and neck, the tight right turn through the corridor, the wall right is next. Joel Cruz still in first on the dive down. Tombo falls back ever so slightly, trying to come out of that ahead, unable to do so. The Emmelman, and again, Joel Cruz swings, sw swings slightly wide. Tombo closes the distance, but Joel keeps him at bay, brings it in first. A 104.28 versus a 104.62 for Tombo in second, nice. and Imperius in third. Who? Yeah, we? Joel, Joel Cruz came out of nowhere for that one. Mind you, he was third on the on the heat just before, but uh, well behind. So but, uh, this time he kept it together. A significant improvement from a 107 to a 104 for sure, and to get that first place finish. Tombo unfortunately dropping, doing the the opposite in placement almost, but still a great time for Tombo with a 104.62. He's staying fairly consistent as far as times goes within that 104 range. And the points are relatively close after two heats. They got three more heats to go, so it could certainly change it up as we go into quarterfinal group three, heat number three. Busta says Wild Willie is a wild flippy floppy. That's for sure. And who's that's, Wild Willie? The, re, the on, OG man. flippy floppy. He that's is. The... He, yeah, I would say so. He's definitely got the personality for sure. Where the hell is Wild Willie, by the way? Uh, question from Zach Anderson on Twitter, Gab707, how did you pick your FPV name? Think about that and get back to us after the end of this race. Oh, geez, his eyes in third place through the split S as he holds on to it, staring at Tombo's lights up ahead. Now drops to fifth place. Vizzy, his view as he goes behind Tombo and makes that hard right turn into the corridor. Here's the outside view as they approach the dive. And you can see, oh, geez, no, nope, I'm sorry, Vizzy. In the front of the pack. Why can't it? There it is. Vizzy in the green drone up front. Imperious in yellow in second place. On to lap number two. Thumbs and OGs fighting back there for, for third place. As they go through that split S and dive back down, it starts to straighten out as the order gets in line. OGs now getting back in the mix. OGs on the turnaround. The right turn through the corridor. And the setup for the dive. Thumbs just in front of him. OG's going for the pass in third place. Meanwhile, Imperius and Vizzy fighting for first place as well. Imperius in yellow pulls ahead. The final turn. Vizzy going for it. Swings wide. Slows down. Unable to do it. 
a 105.11 for the fastest run in heat number three. Tombo, however, and Joel Cruz, two of our leaders from heat one and heat two on the bottom in sixth place yeah. and fifth place. What in the world happened? Imperius just capitalized on those mistakes. You know, you can't you can't let your guard down. We thought Tombo was just going for the, the consistency game and laying down the 104s every time. Yeah. But um, there, him and Joel just uh, kind of phased out on that one. So um, Imperius came in for that win. He's always been, you know, clawing there second, third. He's been there. So um, this was his time. No joke. Great job from Imperius. 105-11. That puts him at 22 points overall. And four points ahead of Tombo and Joel Cruz with 15. Vizzy, Thumbs, and OGs, your four, five, and six with 11, six, and six with their points as they go into heat number four. Let's see if it stays that way. Back to the question at hand, Gab. How did you get your name? Oh, that's the, that's the deep questions. <laughs> no, there, there's no real reason for me to be called gap 707 i mean what it's gab because because gab in 707 is uh is, i don't know it's just a number it just <laughs> it's just leave number it to people. you one of the most brilliant minds out there and the name just is uh just a name you know didn't uh, nothing really came about of it just a name you know i was thinking i was thinking of making a um like some fancy giveaway and just have people you know find me the best explanation and the deepest <laughs> explanation for 707. And let's see what people can come up with. I, I like that I, idea. I'm not even sure I have one. I have a good reason for this. I, it doesn't sound Gap like 706 you was taken, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah, 706 was taken. There was the only thing left was Gab 707, Gab 458765, and like mm. X, Gab, and some numbers and another X, right? So you went with Gab. Yeah, they, they, didn't, they didn't have a good ring to him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tombo in the lead in the red drone on lap number two. Joel Cruz fighting with him for first place. The red and blue drone back at it again in this heat. Busy in third just behind the rest of the pack there. On the final turn, Joel Cruz, Tombo coming in neck and neck. Tombo takes it with a 104.22 versus the 104.25 from Joel Cruz. We tuned in just in time to catch that crazy action as they rounded that final turn. Holy hell, that was close. Yeah, it looks like our two main men are back in action on this one. Wow. No mistake this time, kept it clean, and that was that's the tightest race we've had so far, I think, tonight. I think you at might be speed, right. A 104 speed for sure. 22 versus a 104 25. And that puts Tombo at 28 points, but it ain't over yet. Imperious with 25, 22 for Joel Cruz. However, Vizzy can still come in and strike. Mixing up the top three in heat number five. Anything can happen here for those four guys. Unfortunately, thumbs and OGs. I don't think there's anything you can do to get yourself into the top three anymore. Time is up for them. But Vizzy can still stir the pot a little as we go into this final heat in this round. Yeah, he's at a second place and a third place. So um, he's been up there with the guys. But um, yeah, he, he needs to put down the good heat on this one if he wants to make it. Final heat from this group. And we'll see who moves into the top three and into the semifinals. Here they are off the blocks. This is OG's view. We lost a pilot. Bleh. That's all we get from our race official is a blip. <laughs> <Bleh. laughs> Whoops. Where did no. we go? We lost Joel Cruz. We all right. Joel. Yeah, that's not a good we'll one. restart that one and get Joel Cruz back into the mix. Uh, does anyone know if SK Dare has gotten his QX7 from Zach Anderson? Team Crash RC, unfortunately, has not yet. He's not gotten it yet. And I got to get back in the mix. It pushed me all the way back to the main menu. One second. Get back in there. Tell Gab to get a profile pic, Pro Turn says. Do you not have a profile pic set up on Steam? I'm not, I'm not into profile pics. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> we did have a bunch of suggestions uh, of different alternative Gab names. You can do Gab 404 or Gab 107. Oh, 107. Kind of fitting. Right, but I don't hear. I'm not seeing anyone tell me some amazing stories as to. I want to hear what you guys. Matter of fact, why don't we turn that into a tweet? Tweet at Drone Race League on Twitter and use the hashtag DRL Sim Live and tell us the story of what you think Gab should use as to how he got his name Gab Seven O Seven. We want to hear the best ones out there, and you might win a hundred bucks from it. Yeah, I want to see. I want to hear that. 
<laughs> Theo Lambert from YouTube says 707. It's because he goes to the podium seven times out of seven. Question mark? I, I don't know. Maybe. That's pretty much. Oh, well, that's pretty close to my season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, fun fact, though, from, from our DRL group, uh, Gab has never missed a level finals in his career. So there you go. Just think about that one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go into that last heat. We're back at it again. Let me give you that outside view. As we set up for that split S and set up for the ascent and descent, those dive gates. Imperious in yellow swings high, drops to third place. Joel Cruz in blue in the lead. Tombo in red in second place as they take that right turn through the corridor and onto the wall ride. Thumbs, however, in the mix with them as well. But it's Joel Cruz who pulls ahead. Big fumble from Imperious through that dive. He hits the ledge and goes all the way down to sixth place. Lap number two starts now. He's got his work cut out for him. Meanwhile, the battle for first unfolds. Tombo and Joel Cruz going back and forth, neck and neck. The ascent, the dive down. Tombo moves ahead. No. Joel Cruz gets back in the mix. Up to the sky, day. the dive to the turn. Joel Cruz in front. Tombo in second. The wall right and the dive down into the pit is next. Joel he's now has pulled the... Race. He's pulled a huge distance in front of Tombo. Tombo's got some work to do as he finishes up the last few turns of this, of this track. The final turn is here. Joel Cruz in the lead. Tombo in second place. And Vizzy in third. Man, Ooh, I got... We, we, we had a moment where, where um, Imperius was way down and Vizzy was in third. He could have made up some points to make it into that third place. But um, sadly, um, yeah, Imperius is going to keep the third place and, and move on. Man, oh man. 35 points for Tombo. He moves on. 32 for Joel Cruz. He moves on. And it's Imperius, despite... The mistakes in that last heat. He has enough points to move on as well. The top three go to the semifinals. Vizzy, Thumbs, and OGs. We'll see you guys again on Tuesday, hopefully, for the next go at it. Man, what a run there. That was tight. All right. Yeah, that was a good run. Group number four, Adrone, Shames, Free, Burf, Robot, and Default. Group number four. Waiting for them to get to the podium or to the cockpit, I should say. Amy says, what about Gab007? <laughs> I like Gab007. Yeah. But but I really want to know is what's the story behind it, though, right? Gab should make his profile picture of Vanover's mom, Dan Drone says in YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every DRO pilot should do that just to have fun with Vanover. But Vanover is such a good spirit, he'll just laugh it off, right? <clears throat> Maybe. Uh, Wicked FPV and YouTube says Gabe is for Gabriel. Or Gab is for Gabriel. 707 is anime. I don't know anything about anime. Is there a 707 reference to anime that I just don't know about? I don't know. I don't know it either. I don't know. Dividing by zero FPV in the YouTube chat says best DRL moment ever is Nurk getting Vanover's mom in a picture and putting it out during the competition right in front of him. I got to agree. I don't... Well... <laughs> That's that was a, a good moment. That was a fantastic moment, and I about lost my mind in the commentating booth with Craig when we saw him do that. Uh, it was pretty unbelievable, and uh, I couldn't contain myself. But yeah, that was that was great stuff. Pure Sim yeah, we, says we, we were we were talking to Nerd just before he did that, and he was sort of like, "Guys, look, have a look at this," and he pulled out the picture out of his <laughs> pocket, and we all we couldn't. We oh. couldn't hold it. That's awesome. Well, here we are in heat number one of the fourth group in the quarterfinals. And the colors are all over the place. It's Adrone in the red drone up front. Shames in blue right there with him. Free in yellow. Default in orange. Burf in the green drone. And Robot in purple. On the dive down, Shames falls to second place. Adrone in red up in front. Burf in green right there with him. Out of the corridor. I'm sorry, out of the, out of the cube. And on to lap number two, Adrone in the lead. Shames in second, Default fighting for third place with two others. As a matter of fact, Default free and Burf all neck and neck. Burf falls back just a little bit through those ascent and descent gates. On the turn through the corridor, Shames holding tight to second place, looking for his chance to pass. And it looks like Shames might have done it. Shames moves into first place. And Adrone, what happened to him? He falls all the way back. On the final turn, around the column, Shames in blue. He's got this free right there behind him. Default in third. What happened to Adrone? <laughs> oh, I missed it. 
105. I think I too, but 38. there was a, at least a huge mistake right there because he lost so much time right there. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, low tone, 20 hertz in the Twitch chat. Does the real Racer 4 have a fixed camera angle or can each pilot set their own angle like the sim? No, they cannot change their camera angle. It is, it is fixed for them. Yeah, we have... Well, it depends. We, I mean, we do have a little bit of a talk. It usually, for each track, we sort of uh, have a little discussion on how much we want. You know, a little nudge more, a little nudge less. Yeah. But um, the camera tilt is always the same. Once once we decide on that, it always gets locked down. There you go. Um, a couple different things. Pro turn from Twitter says Gap 707s Gabriel and it works seven hours every day for a week 707 711 maybe i don't know <laughs> i think i think we'll keep going with those ones uh troy da troy dowdle i think that's how you say that over on twitter i think gab 707 is because of a boeing 707 aircraft and gab 707 flies does that work does that does that have any resemblance at all we'll keep looking I don't know. we'll keep looking maybe all right frank uh lundergren or Lund lundergren Lund i don't know how to say it. i'm sorry frank uh, 707 is the number of a famous subwoofer amp. Really? Yeah. Okay. That we could use that. James Bond subwoofer. is 007 because he's the best, and Gab has two sevens because he's always second. LOL. Halo Walker says, "Ouch, ouch, no. ouch." That's not nice. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Halo Walker. He was cheering <laughs> you on earlier. Jeez. Yeah. Now I'll give you the shovel, Halo. How about that one? He's given me shit a long time ago about some comment that I made, and I had to dig myself out of the hole. So he's got to dig himself out of this one. Shames, however, this is his view through the split S as he goes into a slight wobble into fourth place. Up front, though, a drone fighting with free in the yellow drone. Up top, the dive down, the right turn through the corridor, and onto the wall ride. Let me give you that outside view on the drop. A drone in red, free in yellow, burf in green just behind them. Shame's now in fourth place. It's default and robot. You're fifth and sixth. Out of the cube and on to lap number two. A drone holding on to that lead. But free tries to push, takes the inside, falls back a little bit on that turn. Into the split S. Free right there with him on the ascent. And he swings slightly wide. That slows him ever so slightly down. A drone still holding on to the lead in a slight angle as he approaches that turn. And onto the wall right, Free and Burf just behind. Burf now falling farther back. Free tries to push ahead. Unfortunately, he can't. Adrone keeps him at bay, and now he gains some extra ground as he approaches that final turn. Adrone's got this one all on lock. 104.18, 105.31 for Free in second, and Burf with a 105.98 for third. So these guys were thinned out quite a bit on that one. Yeah, Not as I close mean a race as we expected. Adron uh, kept it together and lay down a super nice 104.18. That's you know that's among the best times we've had all day. But the others, look at that. They lost like a second each. 105s, 10, 111s, 109, 113. Well, Free's doing a great job so far. 105.31 and a 105.95 staying consistent there. He's got two sevens on the board, but it's putting him on top overall with 14 points. Both Adron and Shames with 11 points in second and third. Adron's got the higher ranks because of the overall faster time of a 210.62 versus the 217 flat. Burf with eight, default with eight. Your fourth and fifth and robot in sixth place currently, but three heats to go in quarterfinal group number four. Uh, Halo Walker says, Gab, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're one of my faves and one of the first I looked up to. Your consistency is insane. And you're the smooth line master. All right, I think I think you dug yourself oh. out of that hole. I think you dug <laughs> yourself out of that hole. Thank you for that. Yeah, that that's very nice. Well, I'll tell you what, Halo, you did a much better job digging yourself out of that hole than I did with mine. That's for sure. Um, oh <laughs> yes, Andres over in YouTube. Can we have controller views? Question mark. You got it, man. Keep reminding, man. I'll, I forget sometimes, so by all means. Remind me, and I'll throw those up there for you. Also, if you want to see a certain pilot in this group, for example, or maybe one of the other groups you want to see their FPV view, then throw it out there in chat. Tag me so I see it, and uh, and we'll be sure to get that up there for you. Wait, we canceled that one before we even started, huh? Wait, what? That's how I roll. <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> uh, Mr. Trackmaster, or Mr. Race Official? Oh, just having some troubles getting that one started. I'm just uh, resetting the lobby. All righty. Thank you for that update. We'll get back in the mix here in just a second. Uh, wait, do I have to pick favorites? I like all the DRL pilots. You got to pick a favorite, man. You only get one. 
Yeah, Halo you talks about Gap 707 person. all day long sometimes, Devil Reject says. Really? I don't know, man. Large trails? Okay, you got it. If Adron was consistent, he would be killing it, Patrick Watkins says. Man, you know, Gab knows anything about that. Or if anyone knows anything about that, it's Gab. Consistency is a very difficult thing to do in drone racing. And you know what? DRL are ma making it make it very hard for us. They, they, you have to be fast. Yeah. You can't just be consistent. No, absolutely. But, uh, all right, I'm yeah, going to give you guys freeze. I'm going to give you guys freeze FPV view since he's been doing fairly well. And, of course, as I say his name, he falls back, hits the edge, and drops, drops back down. Here's those long trails that you asked for. And you can kind of see a comparison of what one person is flying versus another, free in fifth place on the dive into the pit as he goes up and over that bridge. And through that Emmelman into the cube, beautiful transition for him. Swings wide on the inside in the middle of the cube, though. Starting lap number two, A-Drone switching over to his view through that split S. And a nice transition for him. The ascent and descent gates. The sky gates next. Burf in second place, far back, as a matter of fact. And Default right there in there with him. Default in the orange drone just falls back to third now. Burf in second, A-Drone in the lead. Out of the pits and over the bridge. Burf not able to close the gap between him and A-Drone. A-Drone doing a great job keeping him farther back there on the final turn default makes the pass out of nowhere and brings it in for a second no burf actually had the faster time what? What a 105 happen? 72 well uh, now that that's happened we'll explain how this works remember guys they're all flying in multiplayer now they're all their times are based on the client side so time to start and time to finish is what sets them in their position so even though what we see may be different through the latent view he may have had the actual faster time setting from start to finish of his time on his system side, okay? So, sometimes you'll see that, where it looks like somebody was just in front of the other person, but they are actually logging a faster time. This person's latency to the server has had them actually be behind him. But it doesn't mean that they're having a slower connection, which means they're going to have a slower time. That's not the case. The times are all recorded on the client side from start of the race to finish of the race. So it's based off of that, which is why Burf was in second place with a faster all faster uh, overall time. 105.72 for him. 21 points for Adrone in the lead, though. And Burf and Free are now tied with 15, but Burf has a faster overall time. The 318.09 versus the 318.97. Yeah, we definitely have a uh, five-way battle right now going for that those top three spots because even default has you know 13 points up on there, so it's basically anyone's game apart from Robot, who's not been doing too well. No joke, Kevin Turner Gab is the king of consistency and smooth lines and calm under pressure. That's that's absolutely for sure. Josh Howell, let's see Adrian. You got him, my man. There you go. We'll leave it on Adrian for you. And I'm not going to put on those long trails until we get into an outside view. But for now, we're going to stick with Adrone through his FPV view. As he goes up top and drops down through the ascent and descent gates, now onto the sky gate. And it appears he's up front all alone. The rest of the pack, though, could be right there with him. Let me give you that outside view, and we might be able to see the rest of the group. And there they are trailing behind, but not very close. You can see Adrone's got a nice little lead here as it comes out of that cube. And rounds for lap number two. There's the rest of the pack behind him. Adrone all alone up front. Continues to build the distance from the rest of the group. As they swing wide out of the ascent gate. Adrone up top. The dive and the right turn. Free in yellow tries to close the gap. And he can't do it. Adrone keeps him at bay with a smooth line. And no problems here. Adrone up and over the bridge. Into the Immelman, out of the Immelman, the cube, the final two left turns. And Adrone will bring it all the way in with a 103.95. Oh. This is Default's view from the back of the pack as he brings it around as well. Woo! That was a flawless run. Nothing to say about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. They didn't see any of that. So, Travis, if you could just give us a second. I just wanted you guys to watch our faces talk about the race, and then you get to watch the, uh, the, the, the replay. You're supposed to remind me at the beginning of the race that I got to switch scenes for you guys. Here's that replay of Adrone's run. Now that I'll give, I'll give you that. Oh, here's the FPV view. You guys are watching our faces. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so here is Adrone's view. Uh, and there we go. 
That replay of that run, at least he explains what we would have seen. Yeah, right? It was like you guys were watching the listening to the radio. That's what it was. That was the idea. I was trying to give it to you that way. It makes you <laughs> makes you, you know, visual just close your eyes and watch it unfold in your mind, right? Here was that uh, view I was giving you guys through that race, which was Adron and the rest of the pack just behind him up and over that bridge. And you can see he goes through that si that section almost sideways as he goes into that cube. But he does not allow anybody to catch up to him whatsoever. That pack was just going all over the place. Meanwhile, Adron's all alone up front with nothing but clean air all around. Uh, you think, missed your opportunity with SK Dare's group to talk about using a PS4 or an Xbox controller. What do you mean? <laughs> Thank you, Buster, for that clip. Do you think it'd be possible to build a course like this IRL? I think so. Yeah. Thank you, Space G. I appreciate that, man. I got your replay, Patrick. I got you, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. I'm sorry, Captain Chaos. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to watch us. I didn't really want you to see in the race. That's all. There you go, guys. That was your replay, and Adron takes the win on that heat. But here's your results after four heats. 31 points on the board, 22 and 19 for Free and James. Burf with 18, 13 for default. One heat to go, and the order could change. Shames is not, it's not golden just yet. He can be kicked out. Thank you, Simon. I appreciate that, man. Maybe DM Travis to tell Noodle, guys. Yeah, but the problem is you guys are seeing it as a delay. So by the time you guys see it, we're like three-quarters done with the race. You know what I'm saying? Free is doing awesome. Absolutely. But we got the right we got the right scene up this time. All right, off the blocks through gate number one. Shames was the first one through that turn. And quickly, Robot was right there with him in that purple drone. We're staying with Shames right now on the ascent and descent. A drone pushes ahead. How is he doing it? A drone screams to the front of the pack. Is that outside view? Oh, no, we're switching to that corridor cam. And onto the wall, ride to dive down. A drone in the lead. Shames and Free fighting for second, just behind. Will that order change? We'll find out. In and out of the cube. Lap number two starts now. A drone still up front. Shames pulls ahead on the lower inside turn. And he'll hold on to second so far. Who will come out of that split S ahead? Shames still in the lead. Free makes a mistake and drops all the way down to sixth place. A drone still in front. Shames just behind. Now Burf in the green drone in the mix in third place onto the wall right now. And the dive into the pit. A drone builds the distance between him and the rest of the pack. No one anywhere near him. Clean air all around as he rounds the final turn. A drone brings it in first place with 104 17. Shames in second locks in his top three positions to pull ahead into the semifinals with that seven pointer on the board. Wait for the points to update. There they are. Shames moves up to second place with 26 points and seals the deal for him moving on to the semifinals. And it's Burf. Oh, man. That mistake from Free cost him from moving on to the semifinals. All he needed was one more point out of that, and he would have been at 24 and moved ahead. But because of that mistake, he only got one point from heat number five and a 107.81 which slowed him down dramatically. 23 points tied with Burf, but it's the overall faster time that allows the person to get the higher rank position. So Adron, Shames, and Burf will move on to the semifinals. Free, Default, and Robot will have to try again on Tuesday. Oh, that lucky red drone, though, Gab. It's uh, apparently doing its trick so far. Yeah. But it um, doesn't... It's it doesn't always it pretty do well. the trick. It, it doesn't, doesn't always work no. well, but uh, you know, he did. Uh, I think we've had a superb run there, and uh, it's it's just hard to beat when you're. <laughs> he he was like three times below the uh, below the 104 in the 103s, so you know. You know, Adrone had had just had a, a really really solid run going through that split S, so he was threading together those obstacles going into that split S right at the beginning of the lap. And then coming out of the split ups, setting up for the ascent and descent gates, right? Those two that are right next to those little, like, you know, up and down dive gates. He's got yep. that line so well packed. That's where he's gaining a lot of his ground and pulling ahead. He's just flying a better line than the rest of the guys that were in, the, in his pack, in his group, during that section of the time, which was allowing him to push ahead. So we'll see if he can do it. Who knows? A drone might not have that red drone in the next group when he's in again. <laughs> so that luck may not be the same for him. 
Um, it's going to be Dolma, Halo Walker, Captain Crazy, Joel Cruz, Imperious FPV, and Burf in semifinal group number one. Haven't said it in a while, guys. If you want to win 100 bucks, all you got to do is tweet at Drone Race League on Twitter and use the hashtag DRL Sim Live. You can see it right there at the bottom of the screen. Hashtag DRL Sim Live. Tweet at Drone Race League. That's all you got to do. If you could do that, you'll be entered into the drawing and you might win 100 bucks. Three of you guys will get 100 bucks tonight at the end of the night. And don't forget, we're also debuting next week's track at the end of the show and we'll be making it live for you guys to start your grind and your practice your climb up the leaderboards for all the different ways that you can win whether it be the weekly leaderboards the regional leaderboards the rookie leaderboards or even the participation awards you guys can win some more money so make sure you're getting into all of those different opportunities to win some cash let me get into group number one of the semifinals here is the six guys and their colors imperious fpv flying purple Captain Crazy in yellow, Halo Walker in blue, Burf in orange, Dolma FPV in red, and Joel Cruz switches over from blue now to green in this group. Looks like Dolma has the, the lucky color this time. We'll find out uh, if, it, if it's lucky for him. It's not always lucky for everybody. It's definitely not. Someone said a little while ago, the red drone's hacked. It's, it's not hacked. It's just, you know, I don't know. Some people just uh, do well with it for some reason. Do you want me to let you in on a secret? I would love if you'd let me in on a secret. So the red drone is always the top qualifier of the group. Oh, what do you know? Oh. There is a reason behind it all along, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, which one's the yellow one? Yeah, right? <laughs> third, third place. Third place. Third place. <laughs> off, off, out. Yeah, yellow one's usually <laughs> a second place. Off the blocks, Joel Cruz's view and his... FPV footage as he hits the edge and wobbles his way down to fifth place. Unfortunately, Dolma FPV jumps to the front of the pack. Halo Walker in blue right there with him. Imperious, though, making his mark. Joel Cruz, another fumble on the right turn into the corridor. Here's Imperious' view on the dive down. Watch him gain a lot of speed, but he wasn't able to recover from that huge speed blast on the dive into the pit. Dolma and Halo Walker, your one-two as they start lap number two. Dolma in the lead. Halo Walker swings wide through turn one of lap number two. The split S is here. Imperious, beautiful transition through. The ascent and descent gate. Imperious starting to close the distance. Nope. Now he starts to lose it. Dolma and Halo Walker, you're one and two. Captain Crazy in fifth place in that yellow drone gab. Burf in orange. Not where you want to be. No, not at all. Over the bridge and into the Emmelman. It's a slight sideways maneuver for Imperious, and he goes down. Dolma and Halo Walker, your one two as they come into the finish. Captain Crazy, oh, gets beat out by Burf with a 105.95 versus the 105.97 from Captain Crazy. Oh, wow. There's Imperius. There a lot of reshuffle in. at the end there. A lot of a lot of crashing and a lot of reshuffle. But what we know for sure is that Dolma and Halo Walker were killing it. But uh, for the rest of the guys, they're going to have to step it up a bit. Yeah, no kidding, right? 104.03 for Dolma. A great time to start the first heat of the semifinal group number one. Remember, only three of these guys will move on to the finals, and three will be done for in this tournament. Who are the ones to pick? Halo Walker is in this group. He usually gives us some amazing predictions. We're not seeing them quite yet from him. But... I imagine in those finals, we're going to see some amazing predictions from him. Halo Walker, if you have some for us, throw them out there. And if anyone else does as well, let us know he's what those racing. are as well. How, how is he going to make predictions if he's racing? Is I that, don't know. Is that a... He does it, though. That seemed um, like a it? dig. That seemed like he was just assuming he wasn't going to be in the finals. Yeah. I don't know. So you think he would, like, in the finals say, it wasn't... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be third this time, guys. I'm sorry. I was saying that in the finals is when he usually gives us like uh, he makes sure that we have predictions for us in the finals, right? We we used to get him before that, but I don't know why today he's slacking. He's slacking. Um, see, there's some some questions I missed over here. Chat wants controller view. I got that one. Question from YouTube: Is there a way to activate the long trails while I'm racing? There is not. the The trails are only changeable when you're viewing the drone. So like spectating. Uh, watching a replay, that kind of stuff. Meanwhile, this is Joel Cruz in green. His view from third place behind Halo Walker and Dolma. There's that outside view as we go into the dive gate. Dolma up front. Halo Walker right there with him. And Joel Cruz in green 
in the mix in third place. Joel Cruz swings wide through the Emmelman. That slows him down ever so slightly. Dolma still in the lead. And Halo Walker tries to press. Goes for the pass, unable to do it. He has the inside line on the split S. Can he come out ahead? No, he does not. Dolma in the lead, however. And Halo Walker swings slightly wide, falls back even so more. Dolma still in front. Halo Walker in second. Imperius now in third place. Joel Cruz falling all the way back to sixth place. In the green drone, the dive down. Dolma now building the distance between him and second place. Halo Walker looking for an opportunity to, to gain some ground and close that distance, but he cannot do it. Dolma seals the deal, brings it in first with a 103.81. Is that our fastest time? 103.81. That's a solid time from Dolma, but I don't think it is our fastest one. Travis, can you confirm for us on that when you get a chance? I think it's the fastest one we've seen to date. I've seen like a 103.90 something. I think it was a drone. Oh, I thought uh, we ended up getting a little bit faster than that, but maybe I'm incorrect there. It could be our fastest. Yep. I'm looking at Halo Walker. He's in the chat saying, yeah, that is the fastest he believes. Yeah, it looks like the fastest other than the qualifying round. Wow. Okay. 103.81 nice. fastest so far within the tournament from Dolma in the red drone, by the way. 20 points yeah. on the board for him. 14 for Halo Walker. But Captain Crazy and Burf both tied with six points. However, Captain Crazy has the faster overall time, so he gets third place. Imperius with five points on the board in fifth place. Joel Cruz only one. Simon Saucy says, you got this, Halo. Let's see what happens. Heat number three is next. Canoodle, what is your fastest time on this track? I don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't grinded out this track yet, Edgy. I have not taken the time to sit down and grind the track. I have been way too busy, unfortunately. Um, I did a bunch of tests on it, but I haven't actually grinded to try and get a fast time. Yeah, Gab, tell us more about detail. the tell us more about the whale research you did with drones. Any crazy stories you'd like to tell us? Super Sigma asks, but we'll have to get to that after the race. Remind me, Super Sigma, and we'll get back to that one. And the pack is super tight as they go through the ascent and descent. Dolma and Halo Walker, your red and blue drones up front. Joel Cruz right there with him. Captain Crazy in the mix as well. Imperius is his view from fourth place on the dive down. But it's Joel Cruz in green in the lead. Dolma now in second place. The Emmelman. Uh-oh. Dolma moves into position. Tries to strike for first and does it. No, he does not. Halo Walker pulls ahead. Joel Cruz in the mix as well in the green drone. Dolma red. Ooh. He's right there with him. Dolma comes out of the split as faster. He's in first place. Halo Walker falls to second, and Joel Cruz in the green, now in third. A tight right turn into the corridor. Halo Walker's got Dolma in his sights, looking to strike. He's switching the missiles to drop down. Halo Walker going for the pass, and he does not do it. Into the cube. Dolma has the lead on the final turn. Dolma's got it all the way in. Dolma, Halo Walker, oh, and Joel Cruz. Wow. Whoo that was a good race. Oh, so man. Did you see, this was the first time that Joel actually kept it together, and he was battling with those guys, and he even took Halo Walker. Oh, he, oh actually, we had another one of those uh, timing timing separations. As, as we saw it, Joel Cruz actually got in ahead of Halo Walker, but Halo Walker actually was second. But second uh, either way, an excellent run. Halo Walker's in uh, Europe, I believe, so he's got a little bit of delay to report that time, so that was probably what we saw there. Makes sense. Halo Walker in second place, 21 points on the board for him, but it's 30 for Dolma in first place. Captain Crazy with nine. But look at the closeness between the point spread here, between third place all the way to sixth place. Any one of those four guys, Captain Crazy, Burf, Joel Cruz, and Imperius, could make it into the top three to move on to the semifinals. That's the battle that we're looking at right now. Dolma and Halo Walker looking pretty good. However, that order could change with two heats to go as well. We'll find out in heat number four in just a moment. You know, it's pretty fun. Dolma went first three times. Um, Halo Walker went second three times. And Captain Crazy went fourth three times. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, Timothy over here. I'm telling you, the red drone has a turbo and NOS. I don't know, man. You got to remember, the guy, like like Travis said earlier, the guy who's getting that position is the one who set the higher qualifying time. That's why he's in that spot, which happens to be the red drone. So it's just uh, any coincidence that the faster guy is in that position. Out of the split S, 
And the ascent and descent, Joel Cruz in green, he's up there. Dolma in red right there in the mix as well. Imperius and Halo Walker, your purple and blue drones. Onto the wall, riding the dive into the pit. Joel Cruz in green pulls ahead. Dolma just behind into the Emblemen. This is where Dolma shines. He takes the inside line, closes the distance between him and Joel Cruz. Lap number two now, and Dolma is pressing. Pushing ahead and ahead. Out of the split S, Dolma has the faster line, and he takes the inside through the ascent to descent. Boom. Dolma in the lead now, now drops down ever so slightly behind Joel Cruz. The tight right turn into the corridor. Dolma and Joel, Joel and Dolma, you're one, two into the pit. Joel pulls ahead ever so slightly. Dolma just behind Captain Crazy in third. Now drops down, Halo Walker in there as well. The final two turns around the pole. Who's got it? It looks like Dolma. He does it. A 103.88. Joel Cruz right there behind him. <laughs> Look at the split. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Again. Look at that. Look at that. 88, 103.93. Wow. Like <laughs> wow. That was so close right there from these guys. 40 points on the board for Dolma. Halo Walker with 26. But the battle for third place is fierce, ladies and gentlemen. 13, 12, and 7 for Joel, Captain Crazy, and Burf, and 6 points for Imperius. Anything can really? change here with the top 3. What I really saw in there again was Dolma was so good with that, uh, you know, with those two vertical gates, he was cutting it super close every time, and then he would catch everyone, and then he'd do a bit less, you know, he wouldn't do so well right. at the Immelman and then going into the cube. That section seemed to be causing a bit more issue, but, um, Definitely super, super consistent performance so far from Dolma. He's just unbeatable. He is. He's killing it right now. Off the blocks, Joel Cruz's view as he goes through the first turn, takes the inside and pushes ahead. Great job from him. The split S. And there's Dolma to take it right back. In the red drone on the ascent and descent. Dolma still in the lead. As they scream up top, that's Skygate, the tight right turn. Into the corridor, onto the wall ride. Dolma still up front. Joel Cruz taking the pass. And can he do it? He does. Over the bridge and into the Emmelman. Dolma has a better line on the inside. He might have taken it right back. He did. Joel Cruz drops to third place on lap number two. Halo Walker getting in the mix as well. Taking that turn super tight. Out of the split S. Halo Walker goes wide and a little wonky. That allows Dolma to push ahead. Joel Cruz as well. On the sky gate and the dive down. Dolma faster to it. But he swings wider. Still holds on to that lead, and the dive into the pit is next. Dolma just a hair ahead of Joel Cruz over the bridge. Into the Amelman, and the cube is next. Joel Cruz on the tighter inside line. On the run to the finish, the final turn. Dolma has it. A 103.77 wow. versus a 103.96. <laughs> Did he just get faster? Yeah, that's, that's pretty sure. Tenth of a second faster. We were 81 oh. earlier, and now 77. Look at that. That is insane. 50 points. Perfect scorecard for Dolma. Wow. Halo Walker with 31 for second. And Joel Cruz seals the deal in third. So those three will move on to the finals. Captain Crazy, Burf, and Imperius. Oh, so close from them. I'll have to try again on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me catch up on some questions here. Question uh, on Twitter from Sam G. Are the top pilots using primarily um, using goggles or no? Well, I'm well, not 100% sure what you're asking. Let me just give you some think, information about the goggles. The pilots in DRL all use the same goggles on the on DRL in the actual DRL league. Um, nothing changes there. However, these guys who are flying in the sim, I would put money down to say that all of them are not using goggles. They're just using the monitor to fly with. Now, if you people ask all the time, how do I connect goggles to the sim? Well, you don't connect them to the sim. You connect them to the computer as a secondary monitor if the goggles have that ability through that connection. So you can use them as a second monitor um, if, if those goggles have the connection for it. And it's up to you if you like that. Some people like it. Some people don't. Completely preference and up to you. Um, I've tried it. I've tried it. Actually, at the start, I would do that, but uh, it would. Um, it's hard to, to you know link in many hours of it. Once you once you put the goggles on, you start getting dizzy. If you like try to do half an hour, an hour, it's just too yeah. much for your eyes. 
Um, Edgy FPV says, why not uh, allow collisions if the person wants to in multiplayer? We don't have that ability right now. We used to have collisions in the game. We took them out a while back, um, and there's talks on whether or not we'll put that back in. So maybe one day we will. I'm not sure, but who knows? Stay tuned and we'll find out, right? Um, would be nice to see how Travis works on the backstage. Could he set up a camera for the next streaming? Question mark. Theo, um, Travis, what you would just see him doing this a lot. Like he's just at, he's just doing he's working away, but um, I mean, I'm sure we could do it if you really wanted to. What do you think, Travis? Yeah, I could I could, I could wave. Okay, <laughs> that's what you want to see. Like him look up every once in a while and wave at you. Um, I don't know. It's pretty high tech over here. I got buttons all over the place. You know, I'm moving around. Yeah, but it, you know, you're a lot of, there's a lot of levers that he's pulling on back there. So you know. There's uh, puppets that he's controlling, and, you know, it's just, it's a lot of noise, and woozits and gadgets and twisty thingies, you know, it's like Willy Wonka's factory. We usually factory. only let, let you just see, like, a hologram of, like, a giant head of mine. Yeah. Um, like yeah. the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan Drones uh, comments about the goggles and says, don't bother connecting goggles to the computer. It looks bad with the text and the distortions and the sim. Yeah, and I kind of agree with you on that one. There's, you know, just... Just use the monitor. I think it's just fine, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, great question, though, about the backstage stuff. When is DRL adding machine guns? Oh, next week. We uh, just ordered them, actually. So they're, they're they're on the way. I'm looking forward to those as well. Sh Sherry from Twitter says, Hey, Gab, how do you keep cool during tough races? That's a good question, Sherry. Thank you for asking. Gab? Well, you treat the tough race as if it was an easy race. And then it's an easy race, right? <laughs> Maybe okay, cool. you got to give us some more inside information on that one. <laughs> I don't know. If, if when you the the tricky part is you want to perform at your best. So you get to the point where it's like this is the make or break race. This is the championship race. And if you don't do well, well, you know, everyone forgets about you. If you right. do well, everyone you're the champ. Anyway, so you get there and you want to be as prepared as you can for that. But if you're on the, the other hand, if you get too into it, well, for me anyway, if I get too into it, it's I get just get too nervous. Like when I'm watching racing, honestly, my heart beats beats faster than when I'm actually racing because I really work on keeping it all down. It's all about you know relativizing and you're just remembering why you're there. Just imagine yourself at the field flying with your buddies, and um, you know this is the, the heat where you just don't want your buddies to beat you, so uh, you did, get in that mood. Did you say that you treat it as if it's the final race? Is that what you said? No, it's when you get to the final race, I try to make it feel to me as if it wasn't the final race. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I misheard. I was like reading something and I was like, how do you keep your composure in that sense? Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> we've got a crazy battle going on here. We're watching through the eyes of Shames as he makes a little fumble and falls back to fifth place. Tombo just behind him, however, in the green drone. Shames in orange and it's a drone in the purple. Hondo's got that lucky red drone. Can he maintain that all the way through? We'll find out. Right now, it's a drone in purple. Scrappy in the yellow drone in second place. And Hondo in third. Now fourth. G-Man makes a pass on him through turn one on lap number two. Out of the split S next, the ascent and descent. A drone still in the lead. On the run up top to the sky gate, the, the drop down, and the turn through the corridor. On the wall ride, a drone scrappy, your one, two. G-Man in third. Hondo drops to fourth place. And seems to be staying there. G-Man looking to strike on Scrappy, though, through the cube. And he does make the pass. Can he hold it all the way to the finish? We'll find out. Adrone takes the win. And G-Man does hold it all the way in. Scrappy in third. Woo! Nice. I got scared there for a second. I, I wasn't sure if I was calling the race with the screen switched correctly. And then I, like, slowly looked over at the end. I was like, oh, thank goodness I had the right screen. <laughs> kind of got worried there. Um, you think they're not just staring at our faces. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, collisions are problematic with the lag. Space G says, "Yeah, it could be. Um, it, yeah, I mean, yes and no, right?" I mean, uh, the problem is that a drone is a kind of really small object, and then yeah. you need to know very precisely where it is. So, right. I mean, if you compare it to car games where it's a giant ass car, that you, know, <laughs> exactly. you can easily find the coll collision, and if it's a bit off, it's okay. You have to be very precise with a drone. But um, I'm sure you know you can make it happen. So, so earlier, Team Crash RC asked. And Proturn also wants to know. I'm curious, what is Gab707 doing to prep for the DRL season? Well, 
right now I'm not really doing anything to be very honest. <laughs> He's hanging out this with us, that's time. for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hanging out and enjoying the time. No, I do, you know, in off season I do a lot of filming, I do a lot of, uh, you know, designing, designing drones, I do, um, actually I'm starting something very interesting. I'm starting a postdoc um, for the University of Zurich. I'm working on drones, on drone line and drone lines and making racing lines as efficient as possible. Wait, so that's Zurich, Switzerland, there. right? Yeah. Where the Hydron Super Collider is? Or the uh, Hadron? No, that, that, one, that one's in Geneva. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I, I, I got my, I got my, my universities mixed up. I don't know what the hell, <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not a, but yeah, interesting. The only reason I know even slightly about that is because I watched the show The Big Bang Theory. Well, that's, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> well, it's, it's or at least you know about it. That's, yeah. Well, there you go. There. TV's yeah. done something for me, right? Meanwhile, yeah, yeah. in heat number two, the battle is unfolding, but it's Tombo in the green drone who pushes ahead of the pack. Scrappy FPV makes a fatal mistake, drops to sixth place. A drone in purple now pushes ahead. In the front, Hondo right there with him in second place. That red drone, watch him out. Watch out for him. A drone up front into the cube, swings wide, that slows him down. Hondo able to press and gain some ground, but look behind them. It's Shames and Tombo neck and neck for third place. The battle is unfolding for those two. And it's Tombo who pulls ahead. Shames drops back to fourth place. A drone in purple. Hondo in red. Green for Tombo. That's your top three right now as they head up to the wall right and the dive into the pit. A drone is just on another freaking realm right now. Over the bridge and into the Emmelman. No one able to catch up. Hondo does a fierce move. Cuts it super tight through the Emmelman and shaves some, some ground here but not able to catch up. Tombo makes a pass on Hondo right there on that final turn. Holy hell! Tombo, that was a fantastic turn for you, my man. Adron with a win, though, 104 26, but Tombo with that pass. Oh! Beautiful pass, nicely done, by the way, right in front of Tom, or right in front of Hondo. A 104 47 versus a 104 62 from Hondo. Wow. 20, 10, 8, and 6, your top four right now. Yeah, that he did go turbo for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Adrian um, just oh. proving super consistent, and now all, every time you see the times, 104.30, 104.20s, he's he's in there for sure. He's putting down some good times. He doesn't even really need to push almost it seems. Um, ask Gab what is fast this time. You talking about on this track? Edgy's asking. I, I don't think he's, I don't think he's grinded it enough to do that as well. I... Played for a little bit. Yeah, before earlier on when we were just talking about uh, just setting up for this, uh, for this, I actually just tried the track quick for 20 minutes. Yep. I think I was in the 105s, hmm. something like that. All right. Well, there you go. But he, he um, needs a lot of time. Like well, the, the way these guys are flying, they're just cutting every single corner, and you just don't do that. Um, real without quick. Without a few hours of practice. We didn't. We didn't get back onto the whale research question, by the way. We did not. We did not. And I'm gonna need a refresher as to what exactly that question was. I remember it. I think it was okay, just uh, tell us a fun story about it. Yeah. What do you What do you recall from that uh, that whale uh, shoot? It's um. Well, so so I I mostly did like the design of the machine. We were uh, there's a whole bunch of decisions we had to make on how we made that thing work. And um, I don't know, the fun thing is just its little servo on top, which just opens and closes this this uh, Petri dish to get some samples. And um, yeah, honestly, we had no idea if it was going to work, but uh, it worked super well in the end. So uh, we're really happy about it. That's awesome. Uh, meanwhile, Adrone over the bridge, his FPV view, and I've turned on the controller overlay for you as well as he goes through the cube and sets up for lap number two next. Tombo in green right there with him, G-Man in blue in third place currently the up and down the split s and we got a small glimpse there of tombo who pushes ahead of a drone as he comes out of that ascent and descent up to the sky gate and the hard right turn through the alleyway on the wall ride tombo holding on to first place a slight little wobble as he drops into the pit and a drone takes it back over the bridge no tombo holds on to it out of the emblemen tombo tight to the inside End of the run is here. The final turn. Tombo in the lead. He seals the deal. A 103.91. Wow. A drone in second place right there behind him. Tombo out of nowhere again. Tombo, did you give your controller to Splatoon Kids? That's his son, by the way. 
His son is only like eight years old, and he is a killer in the sim. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah. Uh, Tombo, great job, my man. 103.91. Fastest one we've seen in this group for sure. One of the fastest we've seen all night long. 20 points on the board for him, but Adrian's got 27 up top. 13 for G-Man in third place. Remember, the top three move on. The bottom three go home. Splatoon kids for the win. I should, no joke, right? I can't wait to see him racing some of these things later on. Cannot wait. Um, there was somebody who said it in the chat. Where was it? Zufik. Is that is that right? Zufik or Zufek? Or is that like Zufik? Please, oh please, bring this game to console. That's all I'm gonna say, my man. That's all I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know. Maybe one day. Who knows? Maybe one day. Nightbot, I found a bug. It's not on Xbox, Zoof. <laughs> there you go. I know, I know. I know, my man. Um, Sky, can, uh, we can get uh, like a Go Team Flippy Floppies and they'll all know we're cheering for them. It would be, yeah, no joke. Hey, Imperius, how are you? Who knows, Zoof? Maybe one day, bro. Or miss, I'm not sure, but uh, maybe. Gab, um, Sky asking on Twitter, what have you learned about drone racing lines from your research? Is there anything that surprised you so far? Good question, by the way. Well, we are at the start of the project. We, uh, we literally just kicked this off last week. So um, I wouldn't say I have solid information yet, but there are going to be some surprises, I think. It's, you know, just, I think we're looking at some just very simple turns. Like, how do you take a split S or how do you take a, uh, a hairpin turn as efficiently as possible and I think there's a whole bunch of questions out there actually who are which are not quite obvious like depending on the drone how tight you can take things right um, but anyway I'll leave it at that there's All right. some really cool stuff I think we'll, we'll get out of it I would love to, to get inside your head a little bit more on that but right now Hondo in the red drone makes a fatal mistake he drops to sixth place it's Tombo oh, no. up front in green Scrappy in yellow drone Shames in orange here's Shames's view as he drops into the pit, just behind Tombo and Scrappy. Shames now comes out ahead of Scrappy, and Tombo up front. Uh-oh, G-Man in the mix as well. G-Man up front as he fights for his life on lap number two. Tombo, however, continues to build the distance between him and the pack. Out of the split S, onto the ascent and descent. Now Tombo killing it. Apparently, the red drone does not have all the luck. Oh. Shames Tombo. up front. Tombo with a big fumble. As he drops down, here we are in the alley on the wall ride. Shames in the lead. G-Man just behind him. It's Scrappy now trying to close the distance and pull ahead. Uh-oh, another mistake. And it's Shames still in the lead. G-Man right there with him. G-Man makes the pass the final turn. Can Shames pull it off? No! G-Man <laughs> ste steals it all the way in with oh, a 104.78. Shames right behind him gets robbed. 104.85 and a drone in third place with a 105.86. Hondo in the red drone. Still out there on the track after that mistake early on. As he does there some... you go. Then he's giving us some flippy floppies, some proper ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Man, what a run. What a run. Tune and build changes yeah. so much. Night Train FPV says red is not the fastest. All the flippy None floppy talk, I can almost hear the music. Step on a pop top, blew out my flip flop. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I would I love think, to. I think, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I think Hondo has got in his head now. I mean, we've Maybe. seen him go way faster than this, and he's just not holding it together. I mean, once you see the drones, what you were just asking before, once you see the drones ahead of you, you're like, I need to go faster. I yeah. need to go faster. And then you just push yourself beyond your limit and you crash out. It's something that is very hard to learn when you're a pilot, uh, especially in real life. But, you know, the sim allows you to get yourself in all those situations before you even have to do this with a real drone. Yeah. So uh, props out to these guys who are, you know, learning some life lessons right there. But um, so well, far, a drone is still holding it together. He's still in the lead with his uh, 32 points. And uh, G-Man and uh, Tombo just closing in just behind him. Well, I'll tell you what we do know as we go into heat number five. The top three that you see on the screen right now are the same top three that will be moving on to the finals. A-Drone with 32. He's clinched. G-Man with 23. So with same with Tombo. But the next closest in line is Shames. And the most points you can get in one heat is 10 points. That would only put Shames at 20 which means A-Drone, G-Man, and Tombo have all clinched their spot in the finals. Heat number five will be for fun. Let's see what happens. 
as we go into our final heat of this group. But yeah, dealing with dealing with more this time. Wait, oh, for sure. But dealing with a drone in front of you, I kind of equate it to it's like a fly that's buzzing around in your face, right? And <laughs> at first, you maybe don't even pay attention to that fly. And then and then you see it again, and it just starts to bug you. And you want to get rid of it, so you eventually swat at it, right? And then <laughs> maybe it goes away, and maybe it doesn't. But it's kind of like when you have a drone in front of you, you want to make that pass. But at first, you kind of just let it go when you first see it. And then you see it again, and then you see it again, and it starts to annoy you. And then you make that dangerous pass or that reckless pass that maybe you shouldn't have done. And then you put yourself in a predicament that you're in a worse off situation. So it doesn't always work. And the key that Gab was talking about earlier is holding on to that restraint that takes a long time to learn how to wait for the right moment to make those passes. Don't make those inexperienced passes that's going to throw you out and, and keep you off your line. You want to stay on the proper line. So you got to wait for the right moment. The question is, Gab, how do you know when that moment is? I think the moments just happen. And in drone racing, a lot of times we feel like we are in control that we can like overtake. For example, in cars, you really literally have to wait for an opening and you right. know, open the line, change the line and do something. Yeah. In drone racing, there's usually quite enough space so that you would just, it just happens. So you're just pushing on your own line as much as you can, try to be efficient, try to be fast. And then at some point, the guy's going to make a mistake in front of you and you're just going to take it. And that's the best case scenario. Yeah. Now, if the guy in front of you is killing it, then you're gonna have a real, real hard time. And you know but, what? Um, and and yeah. and sometimes it's it could be better to not risk the pass. You know, sometimes you gotta eat it, right? I mean, you just gotta. I've, I've had that too. I've had that in the past, where as soon as I, in season one, actually, I was plagued by that. I would yeah. start off strong, and then as soon as someone would overtake me, I'd like you know step off the gas a bit, and then I thought. I did not want to risk crashing out, so I would just keep falling back and back and back and back and back. Yeah. And that was not a winning strategy for me. So I think right now what I do is I don't even bother about another guy being there. You just go for it. Yeah. Go. Well, after five heats, Adrone, Tombo, and G-Man, your one, two, three, they move on to the finals. James, Scrappy, FPV, and Hondo will have to try again on Tuesday. See if they can make it up there. We'll find out how it's going to go in the next round. Our finals are coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And we know those three are going in there. Our other three, Dolma, Halo Walker, Joel Cruz, Adrone, Tombo, and G-Man in the finals. But don't forget, guys, we have the tune-in awards. If you want to win 100 bucks tonight, all you have to do is tweet at Drone Race League using the hashtag DRLSimLive. You can see it right there at the bottom of the screen. That'll get you entered into that drawing where you might win 100 bucks. Three lucky winners will win 100 bucks tonight. Yeah. Don't forget. I should, I should get tweeting myself. Why don't you, right? See if you can win it. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget, guys, we have plenty of ways for you guys to win money. The Rookie Leaderboards, the Participation Awards, the Regional Leaderboards, and the Weekly Leaderboards, which, of course, we'll be announcing those unofficial winners after tonight's event uh, for the Weekly Leaderboards as well. And we will also have the new track for you guys for next week that will debut at the end of the, night, the races and we'll also launch it live for you guys to get practicing. Uh, Team Crash RC says, Canoodle, have you have you uh, never heard Jimmy Buffett's song, Margaritaville? I have absolutely heard Jimmy Buffett. I'm a big country fan, but I probably mm. just wasn't putting two and two together with the lyrics. Unless I hear I it even, the music. I've you know? even heard that one. Yeah. Uh, my wife is like the Margarita Queen. So, yeah, absolutely know all about that one. <clears throat> Make sure you guys get those tweets in there. When's DRL coming to the UK? Would love to watch the real thing live. Oh, man. Mighty, uh, been, might be Danny. I don't know, brother. We were, we were, we've been there many, many times. So I don't know if you ever got a chance to catch the races, but when we were there, we actually did have live races for you guys to come down to, but just maybe it just didn't work out. <clears throat> Car racing has a kind of common courtesy about it. Uh, dividing by zero FPV says, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, absolutely. All right. Going into the first heat of the finals, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't seen very many predictions tonight. It seems to be a bit of a slower night. So I'm wondering. I'm not going to forget about that camera, Simon Saucy. I got it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Tombo, G-Man in orange. There's Tombo in that purple drone. Well, what's, what's your prediction? 
I think I think Halo Walker's got this one tonight. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. I feel like I feel like it's his night. I feel like it's it's time. I think I think I'm on Dolma. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's, hey, so let's strong. let's battle it out then, baby. Let's see. Oh, yeah. wait a second. Dolma's got that got the lucky drone. I don't know if I can do this. We'll find <laughs> out. Halo Walker is in my favorite color though. I rock the blue as well, so maybe he'll do it tonight. We'll find out. Uh oh, big fumble from G Man as he goes down. Meanwhile. It's the colors of the rainbow up front. Tombo in purple, Joel Cruz in yellow, A drone in green, Halo Walker in blue. Dolma in that red drone. Look at him go. The dive down. Joel Cruz in yellow comes out ahead. Not anymore. A drone in green. Now it's Tombo in purple. Halo Walker back to fifth place. He's got some work to do. Tombo in the lead. Joel Cruz right there with him out of the split S. Tombo still in the number one spot. The ascent and descent. Dolma comes out of nowhere with the red drone in second place. Can yeah, he down. hold it? I'm we'll find you. out. Tombo doing a great job so far in the lead. Uh-oh! Now that I say that, Tombo hits the gate and goes all the way down. Dolma in the lead now. A-Drone in green just behind him. A-Drone takes the lower inside turn into the queue, but can he hold it? No! And Dolma takes the first heat. A 104 flat. A-Drone in second. Halo Walker with a 105-08 in third place. Come on, Halo! I'm rooting for you, man. Oh, it's man. red versus blue here. <laughs> we can't let the red guys win. Just saying. 104 flat for Dolma and 10 points on the board for him. Adrone with seven. And a 104.37 for second place. Halo Walker in third. Tombo, Tombo G-Man, and Joel Cruz, your four, five, and six. Whew. I never thought I'd be cheering for red, but here I am. Right? Yeah. Right. Well, Joel Cruz is in yellow right now, but he did not have a good run there first heat. So, yeah. we'll see what happens. However, great job to Halo Walker for being in the back of the pack and ended up getting in third. So, you got to give him that, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Dividing by but, zero uh, says etiquette was the word I was looking for with car racing. You pass when you should pass, not when you feel like. But yeah, absolutely. No, I, know, I totally knew what you meant. Drone racing is very cutthroat in that regard. Yeah. yeah. It just, just go. Just go. And then if we both go down, then we just argue. Yeah. Actually, we both scream at each other. Right. <laughs> All six up and away out of that vertical slalom. Now the split S, the ascent and descent. And it looks like a drone and Halo Walker, your green and blue drones, fighting back and forth as they make the right turn into the alleyway. Onto the wall ride and the dive into the pit. And all five, six are close to... No, where's... We lost Tombo in the mix. He's fallen way back. We've got five drones together as they go into lap number two. Halo Walker currently in the lead, but just by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Can he hold it? I don't know. The ups and downs and into the split S. Dolma now tries to make the inside pass. Can he do it? He does. Dolma in red makes the pass in first. Now falls back. Halo Walker takes it right back. The dive back down into the alleyway. And Dolma in the lead on the wall ride and the dive into the pit. Still in the lead. Halo Walker drops in on him. Can he make it in? Yes, he does. Halo Walker takes the pass into the cube. He's in the lead so far. Rounding the final turn. It's Halo Walker in the lead. Dolma in second. Adrone in third. Yeah! Let's go, Halo. Get there. <laughs> You're going down, Gab. You're going down. Just saying. Dolma still in first. He's still got 17. He's still got two points on Halo Walker. Shh. We don't, we're not talking about that. We're talking about who just did, won. Did you see the pass again, though? <laughs> every, time the, every time the up down on those vertical gates, Dolma just kills them. He's got that. it down, man. I'm telling you. He's doing it. He oh. was like fourth, and then he, like, boom, he was he was first out of nowhere. Man, oh, man. Uh, 17 points on the board for Dolma. Halo Walker with 15 in second. Great comeback, though. Five and a 10-pointer from Heat 1 and Heat 2. A drone in third place with 12. 4-4 four, four for G Manitombo and 0 for Joel Cruz as we go to third heat. Only three left, so ladies and gentlemen. What are your predictions? Throw them out in chat. I want to know. Let me see them. Question from the Mighty Thor because you don't have VTX video interference. Why didn't DRL use eight pilots at once? Just wondering. That's a really good question, Thor. Uh, originally, we just uh, used six. That was the number we went with, and it worked, and we've stuck with that since. Uh, you know, I think back in the day, six was the lucky number with uh, not having the interference and such, but adding more doesn't always mean better. So we've stuck with that, and uh, that's about it, I guess. Uh, well, I guess DRL also flies in really, really tricky environments. And then yeah. 
Yeah. The more pilots you add, the trickier you make it on the tech side. So. More money, more problems. That's what they say, right? Same thing with drones, I guess. A drone in the lead in the green drone now falls back. Nope, back in the lead. Joel Cruz right there with him in the yellow drone. Meanwhile, our two pilots, the blue and red, at the back of the pack. Both in fifth and sixth, but now Dolma tries to make the pass. He pushes ahead. Halo Walker now in fourth place. Here they are setting lap number two. Joel Cruz in yellow in the lead. A drone right there behind him. Joel Cruz wide swing, but comes out faster through the split S on the ascent and descent. He's fighting with Tombo in the purple drone. Up top the sky gate, making that hard right turn. Let's go A drone from Josh Howell over there on YouTube. That's right, baby. Can he do it? No, A drone falls back to sixth place. Joel Cruz in yellow. He's up front. Tombo in purple in second. Joel Cruz in yellow now comes up there in the front of the pack. He's holding on the final right turn or left turn. I'm sorry. 103.82. A fantastic time. Tombo right there with him. And a wide sweeping turn for G-Man as he goes for a third lap and then quickly realizes it. Um, Ooh, my, look at that. <laughs> 20 points for Dolma and Halo. The red and blue tie. But it's Dolma who's slightly ahead on the overall time with a 312-23 and a 313-16 for Halo Walker in second place. We've got ourselves a fierce battle here in the final event, or the final run, I should, final round, I should say, of tonight's tournament. As we go into heat number four, who do you think will get this one? Uh, <laughs> Mighty Thor, psst, old timer. Be progressive, forward thinking, boomer. Eight pilots for the win. It's you act like I make these choices. I don't make those choices. Those choices, those come from corporate. Way up high. I'm over here. Well, we can only keep track of six at a time, guys. Yeah, I can't. I. You know what the real reason is? They were like, there's no way Canoodle can keep track of eight guys. So let's just leave it at six. And that's what we're sticking <laughs> with. Here we go into the fourth heat of the finals. The up and down into the split S. And Adron in green finds himself up front. The ascent and descent. Watch out for Dolma. He moves in a striking position in the red drone. The dive down and the hard right turn. Here's G-Man in orange. Third place currently. Now drops back a little bit more. Look at Dolma in red. Pushes ahead. But it's A-Drone in green who finds himself up front in green. Or in first. But then swings wide. He falls back. Dolma now comes up front again. G-Man in orange in the mix as well. Halo Walker back in fifth. But the pack is super tight. It could be anyone's game here. Still on the ascent and descent. Dolma in red. Still in the front of the pack. His view. Trying to get to his view. Dolma right here. On the wall ride. We're sticking with him for a moment on the dive down. Still in first place. Adron in green in second. The Emmelman into the cube. Dolma still holding on. Adron right there with him. G-Man in the mix as well. The final turn into the finish. Dolma takes it. A 103.74. We're seeing some amazing times, wow. Gab. Wow, that was faster than, that's the fastest we've seen Dolma go all night. Oh he was my gosh. The 103.77, I believe, uh, throughout his semifinal, his Imperial semifinal. But uh, here he's coming out definitely very strong as well. Look at that, 104, 103.92, 104.31, 103.74. He's definitely not leaving his foot off the gas on this one. Well, one heat to go, and right now, there's no way anybody can beat him. No, I lied to you. I lied to you. What am hang I doing? On, what am I? I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking backwards Halo. here. Halo Walker has a chance. If Dolma gets zero points or one point, and Halo Walker gets first place, then things can change. However, we Halo needs Dolma to get no points, so either get sixth or place. fifth place. Yeah. And he, if he gets if he gets fifth, then it gives him one point. Halo Walker needs a ten pointer, but it has to. It'll come down to fastest overall time. The top three order can change here as we go into the into the fifth heat, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to that for just a second before we start that final heat, Trav. All right, I've been asking you guys for predictions. I don't think I've seen them there. It'd be crazy if DRL Trial Pilot shows up at the first live DRL race and flip flops. Uh, I wouldn't uh, doubt that somebody could do that for sure. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Is is Nurk the boomer of FPV devices? <laughs> I don't think so. He's, he's younger than me. That's where they filmed uh, Lost. Where? All right. Double Door says, good luck all. Dolma has to be last spot. Well, if he got fifth, he would get one point. That put him at 31. 
and Halo Walker would need to get first, and that would put him at 31, and then it would come down to who has the faster overall time, which it could work, considering the spread between them is two seconds. So if Halo Walker got a faster time by more than two seconds versus Dolma's sixth place finish, let's say, then he could get it. It's not as likely, though. Dolma's the red drone, so... <laughs> I think I Dolma's think Dolma's looking really good, but things can change here as we go into heat number five, ladies and gentlemen. Zut says Dolma first, Halo second, and A-Drone in third. Kevin Turner says Dolma has it. Yep. Dolma has to be last. We saw that. I had this last week. Halo Walker says, please, man, come on, Dolma, please, just give it to me. <laughs> I sent Dolma, A-Drone, and Halo before the finals, Timothy says. All right. The final heat of the night, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do this. I don't think the controller will stay up if I switch to uh, auto view, but maybe we'll just stay in uh, the first person view. A drone's view from green right now in the split S, the dive out on the ascent and the descent. I got to switch to the outside view. And there's your controller. We still got it up for you. And it'll show whoever's name in the top left corner. That's the controller you're looking at. Right now, we're looking Dolma's, at Adrian. Dolma is last for now. Look at that. Dolma not looking so hot in that red drone. But look at the pack, though. They're super tight. Things could change here. Meanwhile, it's Adrian and Halo Walker in the lead. Up front, starting lap number two. Adrian in green. Halo Walker in blue just behind. Tight on the inside. It's Tombo. Big mistake from Halo Walker. Oh. He goes down into fifth That's place, it. ladies and gentlemen. Adrian up front, though, in the green drone. Tombo in purple right there. G-Man in orange in third through the alley on the wall ride and the dive into the pit. Look at Adrone's lead. Tombo trying to strike and close the distance. So is G-Man unable to though. Out of the Emmelman, Adrone swings wide, allows the gap to close. On the final turn, Adrone takes it. Tombo in second, G-Man in third. Dolma gets fourth place. And Halo Walker, ah. Oh. Oh. Halo Walker, Ray just, he just rage quit. I think he just gave up on that. He, he, hit, he hit the Q button. I don't blame you, Halo. But look at the points. 33 points on the board. Doma is your winner for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, he moves on to the final event on April 2nd. 29 points for A-Drone. And Tombo with 23. Your top three of the night. Congratulations to you guys. Doma is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Gets himself that hot seat in the final event on April 2nd. Woo! Rerun? Why are you saying rerun over there, Corey, man? What a run. No, there's no, no... No game crashed. I think if you're... Uh, Halo, Wa Halo Walker was complaining about some lag on his end. Uh, I'm unable to uh, uh, to review uh, the lag that he's uh, claiming that's there. Uh, I'm going to call that we're not doing a rerun on that heat. He's got four more races to go. He did incredibly well tonight. And uh, we will hopefully clear up those issues with him uh, moving forward. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, from our race official. The standings are staying. And 33 points on the board for Dolma. He is the winner for tonight. Congratulations to Dolma. We got to get him in here. Yeah, well done, Dolma. Dolma still hit fourth. So even if Halo took first, it still wouldn't have been enough. Land Standard 1236 says. So great call there. All right, where's Dolma? Right here. Dolma. What's up? You are too mellow right now for that win. Yeah. Just trying to keep my emotions in. I'm not really the type to let it all out, so. Oh, come on, man. Let it all out, brother. He's you playing can, the it's... gap game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? You know all about that. Dolma, congratulations, man. How do you feel? Thank you. Uh, really good. I've been trying since the start. Uh, I haven't really put as much time into it as I wanted to because of school. And having to take Tuesdays off because of the Eastern and Pacific time difference. Yeah. So I had to leave early for those. And then, unfortunately, I haven't really done that good. I've gotten, like, I believe two seconds and, like, a couple fourths or fifths in the finals. But today was finally my day, so 
I'm really happy about it. Well, congratulations. You fought hard. You did a great job, man. Even even Thank with you. you only getting three points in heat number five, it was just enough to hold the overall yeah. lead. You still beat Adrian by four points. So you did something right there. You had some fantastic times. A 103.74 in heat number Thank four. You. I don't know how you were doing it, man, but you were just <laughs> killing it out there. You think that red yeah. drone helped you out a little bit? Uh, I really do. Apparently, there's <laughs> some some like hype or something around where the red drone has turbo or something. I don't even. But now, now I, I finally understand it. You do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's full of shit, guys. The red drone has no difference whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> but it is fun. It is fun, though. It's There's insane. No, no yeah. absolutely. Dolma, you've got some time now between uh, now and the final event, uh, April 2nd. What are you going to do to prepare for that? Uh, what's your plan of attack here? Um, Probably just grind the upcoming tracks. Maybe try to stay in the top five. I believe that will, like, give me a, like keep me in a good position and keep me motivated to keep pushing yeah knowing that i'm one of the top 12 to race in the finals so just keep grinding the upcoming tracks that's a good strategy grind 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 right muscle memory yeah. is the key here gab 707 will tell you all about that if anyone yeah. knows it it's definitely him right gab yeah you just gotta keep grinding though you may want to one thing the guys are going to have on you the guys who just you know who are going to qualify in the next weeks is that they're going to be hot off a race and you're right. going to be you know not in it anymore is i agree i mean we're well like sometimes pe the people who already qualified we run practice tournaments so we open up a multiplayer lobby and then we just keep track of the score like first right. place 10 points and we just write it down. it's basically a practice tournament right and we run it with the top 12 guys so that keeps us all like hot so it's pretty cool that's a solid strategy and a great way to get your practice uh, and, and to keep that practice regiment going. You've got a little time here, but as you mentioned earlier, you, you're you're in school. You're a young dude. How old are yeah. you? Uh, I'm 17, so I'm a junior in high school. Okay, so that's got to be tough trying to juggle that at the same time of, as all of this. And I assume dad probably makes you, uh, mom and dad probably make you keep those grades up, right? Uh, my mom definitely, yeah. <laughs> my, dad's, my dad's a little more lenient, side. or what? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he he does own pyro, and he he pushes me a lot. So absolutely. I, for for I those for those that don't know who Dolma's dad is, Dolma, why don't you tell us? Uh, he is the owner of Pyro Drone. There you go, Surge, right? Yes, sir. There you go. Um, Dolma, great job. Congratulations on getting that win. We'll see you in the final event, April second, man. Best of luck to you. Awesome. Make sure Thank you're keeping you. those grades up. All right, brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dolma, ladies and gentlemen, gets the win for tonight in tournament number eight. We've got a few more to go, though. Join us again on Tuesday, but don't leave just yet. We've got some money to give away. we got the tune-in awards, and we got the unofficial results for the weekly leaderboards coming to you guys in just a moment. But also, we've got the debut of the new track for next week, and we'll be unlocking that opening it up for you guys to start your practice. Um, Travis, do you have an update for us on those leaderboard winners, sir? We'll get back to Travis in just a minute, I guess. I don't know. He's handling things on the back end, apparently. It looks like our... Let's go to the Tune In Awards. For those of you guys that were sending all those crazy tweets out over and over, we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully we got your camera. Or your camera. I read, read the word camera in the chat, and I said camera. Hopefully we got your questions answered. John Wick, what his camera angle and FOV. Uh, Dolma, you still with us? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Camera angle and FOV in the sim. What do you got? Uh, my camera angle is 47 degrees. 47. And my FOV is at 110. 110. So a 47 cam angle angle and a 110 FOV. There you go. Thank mm -hmm. you for that question, John Wick. Congrats, Dolma, Kevin Turner says. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, all right, here we go. Tune in awards. You guys ready for some money? Who's tweeted? Well, whoever has, you might be the winner. The first winner, Hannibal David. You are winner number one of the Tune In Awards on Twitter. Thank you so much. How about Simon? Simon 402-49148. You are winner number two for the Tune In Awards. You got yourself 100 bucks. And our last one, Gazer the Fox. Gazer the Fox, man. You are Tune In Award winner number three. You got yourself 100 bucks, baby. Simon. Simon Saucy, that's you, brother. 
He said, I want to win. Darn, nope, darn it. Oh, yeah, finally. You got it. Congrats, man. You guys are our three winners. Gage of the Fox, Simon, and Hannibal David. You guys got 100 bucks. All right. Our unofficial results for the week four leaderboard winners go to Amari in first place, Orange Stuff in second, and AJFPV in third. We'll, of course, review those and make sure everything is good to go. But that's your unofficial results for those winners for the weekly leaderboards. Lots of stuff given away, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. Dolma, our number one winner for the night. He gets himself in that hot seat for the final event on April 2nd. He'll join the rest of the pilots there. And we'll find out who will become the next pilot for the 2020 DRL season. It'll be happening soon. But first, before we do that, we got a debut of the new track. Gab, you haven't even seen this new track yet. I have not seen it. All right. Well, here we go. I think we're going to throw that up there now. Travis might still be busy doing some stuff, it seems. I'm, I'm here. I'm oh, here. hey, welcome back. I did the awards hey. for you. I know you were kind of doing something, but uh, we got them out there. Yeah, I heard that. Awesome. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you were good to go. Everything good on the back end there? Everything looking great. Let's see the track. All right, here you no go, apologies. ladies and sorry, gentlemen. Sorry. Say again? I said yeah. sorry, not sorry. Oh, you're Canadian. You're Come on now. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here is your track, ladies and gentlemen, for next week. We'll be opening it up in just a minute. Here you go. All right, I got to show it again. I got to show it again because that uh, that was too good not to show that again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show it to you one more time. Here you go. What a run right there. Gab, you were saying uh, during that that uh, you had some little insight on that track. Go ahead. Yeah, it's fun because the start part of it almost feels like a car racing track. It's really 2D. You're just, well, there's a bit of up and down, you know, but it's it's very, yeah, you're just doing these turns. And then suddenly it just goes into full on 3D drone racing. <laughs> you go straight up, straight down. You do these big dives and uh, almost a new obstacle. Like the gates now have this uh, this concrete pillar around them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes it a little tricky. Travis hey, getting uh, I, a little aggressive with this. Travis, can you give I, us some insight on what you were thinking or what drugs you were taking? I, I mean, G Gab got it. I've been uh, uh, playing some race car games lately and, ah. and been studying like some of those tracks. Yeah. And so I definitely kept that in mind. And I know, you know, a lot of the changes to the DRL tracks this year and Gab can, can probably speak on them too about just the strategy with the Racer 4 and uh, and just the way that you have to make these turns in order to essentially you're full throttling almost the entire track right. and trying to figure out ways of how to how to take the better line and I think that's kind of been a theme for the the season as well with a lot of the tracks we've seen for the tryouts 
And so I was kind of taking that into mind to try to find some areas where it almost required the player to slow down, like they were in a car race with some really tight turns where they have some straight stretches. Yeah. And then they need to essentially slow themselves down to get through these tight sections or they're going to be taking a risk. Well, you did a great job building that one. And we had a question from the Mighty Thor. He said, does the degree of difficulty change or get harder each week? Or are they all the same level of difficulty? And I think you're probably the best one to answer that considering you're the one who's building them. But of course, the pilots could probably attest one way or the other. I would say my 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 objective is to increase the difficulty every single week to, you know, I'm not trying. Maybe this one, maybe I got a little bit crazy. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think there's definitely, obviously, uh, when I did this, I went full out. We've heard some complaints about flippy floppies, this and that. I don't want to hear any of this nonsense. If you want to make it as a finalist, you better know how to do whatever kind of flippy floppies that I throw at you. Yeah. Just saying. And, uh, <laughs> and that's what I felt in this one. It's a real flowing track, but you need to learn. Like, these are a lot of maneuvers that we're, we've seen throughout the seasons in DRL. Gab was talking about the London track and that big power loop, like, oh, right. through the ceiling. Kind of see some sections like that. I have that big gate. There, there's that uh, helix kind of uh, maneuver where I actually have that elevated gate in the middle where. You know, you're most likely, if you want to hit a nice line, you're going to hit that inverted and just do a giant kind of helix or power loop uh, through those gates. Uh, and then there's, an, I guess, a second kind of power loop on that uh, gate as well. So some technical sections, some straightaways, and uh, some flippy floppies for y- y- all you haters out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The next track is available, and it'll be going live in just a moment. So, Trav, has it already gone live? It is live. The track is open. If you already have the sim open, remember you got to shut it down, open it back up to make sure you can find it. And then you can go find it in solo race or go join some people in the multiplayer races right now. And uh, you're going to find it in the originals track, uh, originals uh, under the drone park track. You'll find you all the uh, trials tracks that we've released so far. There you go. Um, if you guys have any last minute questions for Gab 707, throw them out there right this second so we can get them to him before we get off the air. Uh, but we're closing up shop here. Just a reminder, our finalists so far through this tournament series, Amari, Chief, AJ FPV, Paulos FPV, Orange Stuff, Manny himself, Star, and tonight's winner, Dolma. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Eight pilots have made it through to the final event for April 2nd. We've got a few more to add in the next couple weeks, however. We'll find out who will become that next DRL pilot in the 2020 season. Only one person will win on April 2nd. They'll be crowned that winner for the Sim Series in the DRL season coming up. So, there you go. Gab, if you had to give advice to Halo, what wouldn't be? What? 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 Or what would it be? I think you meant to say. What would it be? One piece of advice. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, like on flying the sim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, right there. I mean, you know. Or like being being a best a better. Oh, Halo Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was a tough race. You just gotta keep keep grinding at it. You know. Yeah. I fa- I think that failure is what you know drives your success. Yeah. And people always think, yeah, the guys who who win. Yeah, they just go and they win, and it's just how it is. No. No. People who win, you know how many times they failed before they won? You know how many times Dolma has been on this on this, on this this specific stream, yeah. and you know it didn't come through? You just have to keep grinding at it. We know you'll get it, and uh, we'll be there to cheer you on again. And um, yeah, keep grinding. I'm sure there you'll you go. get it. I'm so glad you said that because one of the things I, I coach my daughter's softball team and one of the things I teach my girls is that failure is okay. You know, failure is, is what is, is what makes us grow and become better. You know, doing something, being afraid to fail will not help you improve your skills. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to put yourself in the position to fail if you're afraid to fail. So be okay with that. It's okay. It helps you grow. It helps you become a better person. So, you know what I mean? That, I'm so yeah. glad you said that. So thank you for that. Um, we're going to have to clip that. If one of the mods can clip that of what Gab said about that, I would, I would appreciate it. Um, that's going to do it for us here today, guys, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any other questions, make sure you hit us up. We can always get those to him. Uh, could Gab707 speak something in German, please? Uh, Falk FPV says. 
Ja, sicher. Was willst du? Hochdeutsch oder Schweizerdeutsch? Ich kann ein Schweizerdeutsch machen, man könnte auf Schweizerdeutsch reden. Das ist kein Problem. It's a, it's a family show, Gab. You don't have to call me names and, you know, like, that's not cool. I don't appreciate that. I mean, come on yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. You can do some French, too, if you want. Yeah, you got, yeah. How many languages do you speak? I don't know. French, German, English. English count. Is, English is a language, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. It, it's like people who speak English, they only speak English. You go go out to Europe, Europe land, and everyone will speak at least two or three languages usually. That's crazy. Know. That's incredible. All right, uh, that's it for us today, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys tune in on Tuesday. We'll see you guys again back there, 3.30 p.m. Eastern right here. And you can join us on YouTube. You can join us on Twitch. You can join us on Twitter. Thank you so much for everybody tuning in. Don't forget, tune in awards next Tuesday. We'll have some more money for you guys. Three of you guys get 100 bucks. And of course, we got the rookie leaderboards, participation awards, the weekly leaderboards, the regional leaderboards. Check them all out on the DRL website. Ladies and gentlemen, you can also follow our main man, Gab707, all over social media. Just look them up, Gab707. Yeah. It's pretty simple, right? Yeah, look it up. You'll find it. There you go. All right, everybody. That's it for us tonight. We'll see you guys again next week. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. And make sure you're continuing to get that grind on. Great job, everybody. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye, everybody. See you guys.